So, welcome back to another not episode to a live stream. After 10 years, we're doing a live stream. We did one a long time ago. I really want to set one up today. And we're here. And let me say, I was looking at this. This is what I'm using right here. And I'm just like blown away by the amount of people and the amount of love. I want to say welcome. I want to say thank you so much for 10 years. And I'm going to go through a lot of different things today. There's a lot of people I want to thank. There's a lot of video games that I want to give to you guys for free. No, you know, nothing funny about it. It's just straight to you. You don't have to sign into anything. You don't have to go to someplace crazy. It's going to be really cool. And I got like 20 video games to give away. So yeah, I just want to go back 10 years to this very spot where I'm sitting right now. It was power. yesterday that I started the channel 10 years ago. And I just want to talk just for a brief moment here. Bear with me for a bit. Is that I remember 10 years ago, it was a couple of months even before that, I was watching the AVGN. And I mean, you guys know what an incredible talent and somebody way ahead of the curb on video making on YouTube. And somebody that I definitely bow to then, I definitely bow to now because he was the originator of the whole gaming, video gaming scene on the YouTube space. And I was so thrilled with every single thing that he did. I was like, my God, this guy is incredible. Even his rudimentary videos back then were beyond anything we'd ever seen. And I was so blown away by it. And I, I sat here, right here, there used to be a couch behind me with my bandana on and I would have a cigarette and I was sitting here in a big puff of smoke, having a beer and I'm like, Man, I wonder if I could do a YouTube show. And let me tell you, I was 140 pounds. I looked like I was ready to die because I was such a bad smoker back then. I was very insecure and I didn't feel very good. I, didn't, I just didn't feel very good about that I could do what James did. Like, you know, in, I, I didn't want to copy James either. I, James is doing his own thing. I wanted to do something where I talked about games that I really enjoyed, things that I loved. And so that's why I started the show and I didn't want to start it. I was just like, man, you know, I'd love to do something like that. I, I'm like, I wonder if I can even pull this off. I'm like, but I want to talk about video games that I love. I want to talk about Fantasy Star and Ease and all these great games that, you know, I've ended up talking about over 10 oh, years yeah. from that initial moment. And the one thing that I'm kind of getting to with all of that is that Everybody was against me starting. I remember saying, hey, I was going to work and I'm like, hey, I'm starting this YouTube show. And everybody's like, oh, good luck with that. You know, and I'm like, hey, can you subscribe? I remember I had 60 subscribers and I was so thrilled. And I thought if I could ever have a thousand subscribers, I would be blown away. It'd be like the greatest thing ever. And uh, I just want to say that everything was kind of against me. And even myself was against me. My looks at the time, my insecurity, my lack of understanding of technology, but I kind of pushed myself to do it. And here we are 10 years later and look at all of these amazing people right here. All of you amazing guys and gals uh, in the chat. And I just want to say thank you so very much for showing up today. Like it's just, it means the world to me. And uh, let's for a second here, go back to 10 years and uh, I just want you also to know that this stream wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for my friend Bear over here. He set everything up. He's sitting on a laptop. He's just monitoring levels of the audio and all of this and gave me this, uh, you know, awesome little, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, iPad to go off. And so I really appreciate that, Bear. He's, he's I got my. You, John. <laughs> I appreciate it because that was another thing. This is such a brand new test. I didn't know if this would work. We didn't know if the laptop could handle it. Right to the last minute here, we were concerned that this may fail terribly. And Bear's giving me the thumbs up that we're working. It's all going correctly. So I, I just want to say thank you. And man, I, oh my God, there's so many comments. There's so many comments. Let me have a sip of tea, you know? It's actually funny, before the stream started, there was a comment that said, oh, I bet Johnny's really nervous. And you know, to be honest with you, I was a little bit, but I was more excited than I was anything else. I thought this is the first time I can interact with everybody and talk to everybody and, and all of that. And there's a lot to go through the today. There's a lot to go through. Bear, can we play the very first 
Happy Constant Gamer sure. video. Absolutely. And uh, I'll just kind of point to you. We'll play it at that point. Let's go like that. We'll yeah. play it. So 10 years ago, I did my very first video on the channel. And I created a fake opening because I'd never done a show before. So I did all these things. And hey, bear, bear uh, here. Uh, that this is, I look terrible. Okay, I'm, the first, I'm smoking. I'm kind of emulating the angry video game nerd. I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be angry in the video. And it's kind of like... It's a little bit off-putting and funny to see, but it is the start of the show, and uh, let's just play that. Thank you. <laughs> that, that is so funny. I know a lot of you are like, the audio is super loud. That's how stupid I was back then. I cranked the audio way too loud and we only noticed it before we were about to do the video. So I apologize for anybody wearing headphones. I, that's the stupid John from 10 years ago. And let me tell you, I'm still stupid to this day, this very minute right now. And it's funny, I, I did that fake intro that didn't even exist of episodes that I had never filmed because I just wanted to create uh, an intro and say, hey, I'm here, I want to talk about all these games and do I ever wish I didn't smoke back then? I looked so I loved absolutely it. terrible. I was like, oh my God. You know, here's the thing, everybody was commenting back then. Do you have cancer? And I was like, oh my God, I, I agree with you. I look terrible. Uh, I finally, I so I did the show for about three months and then uh, you know, with, it, with being a smoker, and then I finally quit, which was wonderful and all of that. So, as we're going to get into some more clips in a little bit, I just want to start with some thank yous. And there's a lot of people to thank. There's a lot of people behind the scenes to thank. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for showing up. And Jesus. Okay, here we go. This is the number one person I want to thank. And you have to understand this. That is Kim, my wife, because she's here behind the scenes every single day she lives and breathes to the show if she doesn't want to or not that is the the sad thing that she has to deal with like she's very encouraging she's like i can't i can't say enough there's been a lot of times i'm like i just you know i don't want to i don't want to do this episode or I, I don't even think i should do that and she's always one saying go for it go for it uh she's the one that's pushed the show in some like behind the scenes in some really great directions and uh i married really well with Kim. I'm the first to admit that. I married really well with Kim and I'm so absolutely thrilled. She's out right now with uh, Bear's girlfriend. They're having lunch and all that, which is good. But I want to say uh, thank you to Kim. Next up for my thank yous, I have to thank my dear, dear friend of nearly 30 years, Rob. I mean, I love him so much, I can never tell you. And I think in the videos I've done, over the years with him, I think you know how much I love him. And uh, Rob, if you're watching this, I want to say thank you, my friend, so much for giving up so much to help out and to do so much for this show. I, I can never thank you enough. I mean, we've gone through, haven't we gone on some amazing adventures during the years doing this show? I'm telling you, for people who don't know, me and Rob have had our ups and downs with this show and it's been difficult and it's been taxing and especially when we did the movie I mean the movie was something that I started and I didn't think was going to encompass three years of our lives and everybody had to volunteer their time and effort that's where I met Bear I was on the, I, was, I met him in game deals right. back then working on it and uh, you know Rob has given up so much to come help out and to be a part of the show and everything he's ever given has been wonderful. And you know, I think what we'll do right now for a little bit of fun is cut to uh, from the movie Rob's bit. This is my favorite, I don't know if Rob knows this or not. This is my favorite bit of Rob from the movie. And uh, we'll cut to that right now. Hey Rob, 
Don't forget the groceries. I'm not going to forget the groceries. Well, hello there, Rob Man. Hi, Mr. Horton. How are you doing? Uh, it's yours. Uh, another one of your adventures, are we? Yes, yes. Going to meet some friends and, and pick some stuff uh, up. Yeah. Good for you. Uh, good night, Mr. Horton. Hi, yeah, you too. Rob Man. Yes, Mr. Horton. Don't forget those groceries. I won't forget the groceries, John. Thank you. Don't fall down the stairs, Mr. Horton. We don't want to get hurt. Fucking kids these days. Oh, me. Shit. Honey, hell. Uh, that scene cracks me up every single- I was sorry, I was just concentrating, watching it. Rob did such a great job in that scene. I remember holding the camera, and we had that- that old man wasn't really an old man. I was getting my hair cut one day, and I didn't have an older guy to play that role. And some guy, some actor was sitting beside me, and, he, and I said, I need this old man. And he's like, I, I can play an old man. I'm like, really? And he was only 50. He wasn't like, you know, that old. I guess that is old to a lot of people. But uh, we got him to play the role, and that was a really special night, and it really worked out really well. One of the funniest scenes in the movie, especially with Rob pushing the groceries, saying, I didn't forget the groceries, after he does the entrance into the house. And I'm going to show some more clips of uh, me and Rob and some Halloween things in a, in a little bit. That's so, so fantastic. One of the other things that we wanted to do today was test this stream to make sure it's all working to make sure it's all going well and in the future me and Rob are gonna do streams me and Kim are gonna do streams we're gonna do streams for a lot of different things but we had to crack the code today this is a very big test for everybody and oh, let me just start stop oh my god bear yes these donations here yeah <laughs> are people asking questions yes they let, are. can you add less can we go through some of these so we can answer some of these absolutely questions? the first donation came from uh, Cryptonics, he gave five dollars, and he says, "What were your first experiences playing handheld consoles, like the original Game Boy and the Game and Watch? At the time, did you see them as a big game changer?" Um, I didn't play the Game and Watch. Is that he was asking to play? Yeah, the game? Why you say, what were your first experiences with your first handheld? You know, like oh, first handheld was the Game Boy, but those Game and Watches, I never. They were kind of annoying back then, you know, the LCD screen, you'd have like three frames of animation. Never really played that too much, but thank you for the donation. Uh, Urcha Gaming, she said, gave $10, saying, oh, wow. favorite YouTuber of all time, it's like 10 Christmas evenings. <laughs> thank you for the 10 Christmas evenings, uh, Isha Gaming, I really appreciate it, and you're a very big up-and-coming channel, I really love your stuff. I'm, I'm learning something about Harvest Moon, I'm not a big uh, player of that, but I'm learning that what else do we uh, have? Andrew gives five dollars. Says, "Happy ten years, man! I watch your channel daily. Here's to another ten years." Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you for coming in and watching today and donating. That's crazy. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Just more donations. I mean, I'm looking oh my for God. questions here more than anything. But yeah. Uh, Mike Jackson, Edgar Simon, both gave five dollars. Really Thank supportive. You. Uh, Tipster. Um, Thank you, Tipster. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, Von Koth. A Aquino uh, saying my favorite YouTube channel hands down can thank you wow years. I just I just want to say it's so humbling for you guys to come in here and say that like I, I it's really weird because I sit in this room by myself I'm I'm with you guys today but mostly bears not here I'm here in the darkness kind of talking about some video game and you know like it just you just never know it's, YouTube is a very strange thing. I put up videos and sometimes they go huge and I didn't expect it. And sometimes, you know, they're very, I work in videos for a long period of time that don't get seen quite a lot. But here's the thing. I do all my videos because I want to do them. I got a bit of advice for YouTubers out there. Don't chase the views. If you chase the views, you'll always lose. You have to do, and especially doing something for 10 years like I have, 
you have to do something that is positive and wonderful in, in yourself. You have to, if that's not there, you can only go on fake uh, that stuff for so so uh, so long before you run out of steam. Absolutely. Any anything else? Any other questions? Uh, no more questions. But the donations keep on coming in. Game Galaxy, wow. Jack Amon Hoy, Nintendo fan says you and Vic make a. Uh, amazing duo. Uh, looking forward to the future of this great channel. Thank you. And, uh, everyone's just showing love and support. And if anyone when they donate have questions, feel free to let them out. Yeah, I hope you guys like the animated gifts playing right now yeah. because we worked very hard on these. Uh, these are very very funny. And wow, look at Ray all these. Is asking. So what are the chances we're going to see a complete Dynamux, uh, Dynamite Ducks playthrough on the stream? A complete, you know. <laughs> Do you know, I, I have so many dreams and things I'd love to do. Imagine I could do a Games I Hate episode where I play Double Dungeons or Dynamite Ducks. And, you know, some of the dreams I have is I want to play some of the Mega Man games with Rob. I would love Rob to play the Mega Man games more than anything. We will 100% do it for Mega Man 11. That was without a doubt. We'll do a review. We'll do a stream. We'll really start celebrating this stuff and doing it live. Uh, this is such a brand new frontier for us to do this in. We've never done this before, and uh, thank God for prayer, uh, being able to help out for, for me to enter this new frontier as well. Uh, I, did I see Media Glitch ask a question? Uh, did Media Glitch go, go through those? There are some of the questions coming in through Super Chat, so you might be able to see them through there. Oh, yeah, they're going uh, by so fast. Um, uh, but I will look for you. There's you definitely could. a lot going through. There's nothing from him on the Streamlabs. Okay, but. it's all good. And you know, I don't want to say anything. If if you feel the need to to um, like donate, which is wonderful, do it in the link below through Steam Labs because yeah. that like the the super chat that like YouTube and Google are so greedy with that. I don't know how much they take, but they take like a, a 40 40 percent yeah, take. Yeah. Like don't give it to them. <laughs> you know, let's put it into the show if we can do anything. That's that's amazing. Let's let's first of all let me just I just want to know if you guys want to get some free games and I'm going to explain how we're going to do this and I've set this up so it's incredibly fair and the bots won't screw this up. And here's the thing, I want to thank Square Enix, Bandai Namco and Ubisoft for su supplying these codes. I wrote to them last week and they were nice enough to get back to me and just give me codes to give to you as no strings attached just to be awesome. And a uh, big thanks to them. What I'm gonna do, and let me say, I'm European. I'm from England. I'm so sorry. These are not European codes. I couldn't control that. Maybe going forward, I will look into getting European codes, but all the um, companies that I deal with are the American-based companies. So I wanna apologize ahead of time. I'm really sorry. Uh, about no European codes. I, I'm being from Europe, you know. I would love to give uh, European codes without uh, without anything. But these are, are American codes and uh, and Canadian codes. Uh, so let's. What I'm gonna do on my personal Twitter. Uh, you don't have to. You don't even have to be a part of my personal Twitter. It's not important. What I want you to do is go to my personal Twitter when I say that the game's gonna be released. I'm not just putting the code up. I'm putting a JPEG of the code up. So you have to manually enter it in. So bots can't rip the code and enter it into a PSN account. That's what people were doing. I did that about a month ago for some Lost Sphere codes. People were upset because bots were grabbing them. Not today. There's none of that crap is gonna happen. I was so mad about that. I went and so Kim entered all the codes into separate, separate JPEGs and we have them listed in different categories. Uh, so let's start off right now and so what it's going to be it's going to go up onto my twitter the code will just go up and it'll be up there for the amount of time that it takes somebody one lucky guy out there or gal to answer it <laughs> for sure uh just to enter it and uh then yeah you get the code it's as simple as that it's, it's, you know i want to keep it equal for everybody so let me just say turn on your ps4s turn on your 3ds's Turn on your Xbox uh, Ones, uh, I and, and also Steam accounts. There's some Steam accounts as well. So uh, this is my way of giving back to you and thanking you all for coming in today uh, to be around for this. This is absolutely amazing. So are we ready to do the first code? Yes, we are, sir. Let's do, I got one code for Lost Sphere on PS4. Yes. And it's going to go up 
onto Twitter right now. I'll just have a sip of tea. Absolutely. Maybe I can't catch up on the chat a little bit. I love the power glove. Thank you. Thank you. So bad. You know, I really need glasses too. I'm really bad. That's our only code of lost fear. That's our only code of lost fear. It's up. So that's up there right now. It'll be up for a few minutes till somebody enters it in. Uh, this is this is amazing. So I can't believe all the comments. I can't believe there's 2,000 people watching. And you know what the funny thing is? I say that person. I, I always remember the first comment I read. Somebody's like, "Oh my God, you you must be." He, I bet he's super nervous. And I, I'm I'm really not. I'm really thrilled to 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 have you all here. It's amazing. It really is truly amazing. So that code's up. The code is up. Okay, let's put up another code. Uh, this is an older one. This is for Dragon Quest Builders on PS4. I only have one code of this, and we'll throw that up. Trust me, guys, I have a lot of codes here uh, to give away. Yeah, thank you for Square, Square Enix, man. Like, <sighs> Nobody knows behind the scenes. They are an amazing company to talk to. They're so forthcoming and... You know, they, they, I love the, power the thing that, you know, my biggest concern it's when so I started bad. the show was people never took me seriously, ever, ever, ever at all. Like the bigger channels never took me seriously. I think the bigger channels still don't. You know, we're talking about the million the subscri subscriber channels, but it's so nice bad. that the show has got a little bit of recognition now. And that is what I'm proud of. That's Dragon what I'm proud Quest Builder's Code is up as well. Dragon Quest oh, yeah. Builder's Code is up on Twitter right now. For some lucky guy or gal yeah. to download. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Al uh, Borland sends, uh, sends oh, thanks for 10 years. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I did catch that. Johnny uh, for, for World Domination. Yes, all board of Borland. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to come back to the chat in a little bit. Uh, one, let's let's do um, that. those codes are done. I'm going to have to just X the codes that I, I actually have completed. Okay, let's do something from Ubisoft. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, we're putting up a code from Ubisoft right now. And this is, I have one code of this. It is South Park, the fractured butthole on PS4. And I just wanted to say fractured butthole because it makes me very happy to say that. Very, very happy to say that. I'm Charlie, to <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for all these amazing comments. I am. Yeah, and I'll have to, I, I think that'll be, uh, is that code up? In just one second. Uh, I'm Russian Bear, I'm working him so hard. Thank you. And you are good, it is live. Okay, that code is up, and if you just want to monitor the other codes and see if people got them or not, and sure, sure. And all of that. I'm just gonna go back into my, my thanking here, and uh, as I say, you know, I was just talking about Rob, Rob, dear friend, and I'm gonna go back for a moment here uh, to my youth, and, uh, you know, part of my youth was Rob, but it was also my friend Andrew. And me and Rob and Andrew hung out so every day. You, I can't tell you. I get a tear thinking about the past, man. I get a real tear thinking about the past. It was so, such a beautiful time in our childhoods. And I grew up with Andrew. Andrew used to live on my street. You know all the stories about Andrew. And everybody always laughs because I always call him my friend Andrew. But Andrew... He was my friend from down the road, and me and Andrew are very close. We talk all the time still. Uh, he lives in California, and I've never told the story. I just want to tell a quick story. It's that Andrew lived on my street until I turned 20, and then he moved to Calgary, one province over, uh, to do uh, engineering in, uh, over there, and he, he did extremely well. Let me tell you, my friends used to bug him when he used to go home to do his homework, and he's like, oh, but I, I like doing homework. And uh, he ended up becoming a, an incredible engineer and doing very well in life. So applause to Andrew and applause to all the kids that didn't skip school, that did their homework. They're amazing. <laughs> Good for you, guy. Like, uh, but, you know, I was just kind of hanging around and I didn't really know what to do with my life when I was about 20. Um, one of my great friends, I, I wasn't hanging out with Rob then. Rob was still a bit younger. I was hanging out with Rob's brother at that point. But even me and Rob's brother hadn't, weren't hanging out. So Andrew was really my rock of video games. He was my such a good friend on the street and we shared so many great times playing games. And he left. He left to pursue his life, which is, was, was awesome at the time. But God, I was so sad. And you know, there's some nights when I have a drink 
And I think back to that moment and I get sad about it still. I mean, that was a huge emotional thing. I lost one of my best friends on the street uh, who I played video games with and I related so well. We played Fantasy Star oh, together, sort of for a million. All of the old great games. Uh, he played Secret of Evermore. I, you know, we played Secret of Mana together. We shared a lot of moments together. And, and Andrew, as they say, has done well in life. And he's here's the thing that you guys don't know. For nearly the last 24 years, Andrew has flown back over here to Vancouver to stay with me for a week to two weeks at a time and to see, keep our, our friendship rekindled over the years. And, and we have so many good memories of Rob and, and Andrew and myself and our, my friend Satan. You know, I also want to uh, thank Satan, uh, you know, for being a part of our lives. Uh, you know, it's really important. All the friends that you grow up with, they're so important to your life. It's incredible. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about the beginnings of my life and, and my friendships and all those friends who have come onto the show over the years and uh, how amazing it has been. And it was, as they, as they say, it was very difficult in the early days of doing the show. I felt very insecure doing it and uh, they, them coming on, Andrew came on a little bit later, but Rob coming on in the early days really helped me out. And I want to say for Rob coming on, it really was wonderful for me because Rob was so confident and at that point in time, I wasn't. And uh, and so it was nice. It was nice that he came on and boosted me up a bit. And then it was funny. Years later, he came on the show. He hadn't been on the show for a bit. And he's like, "Oh my God!" He goes, "I'm so kind of insecure, and you're so confident." And then I'm like, "The roles have reversed." And it, it was kind of a funny moment we had. But uh, anyways, uh, any any um, donations? I, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, more yes. donations. I'm actually uh, Forsaken just donated five dollars. He said, uh, "Hi Johnny, keep up the good work. What game are you most looking forward to in 2018?" Uh, it's funny, thank you for the donation. The game I'm most looking forward to, we're playing in the other room right now, and that is Nino Kuni. I said Nino Kune, <laughs> and so everybody was mad at me. Uh. Nino Kuni. I was, pl we're, we're playing the second one in the other room. We just did a first thoughts video, me and Kim, and I can't talk about the game because the embargo breaks in the morning, but let me just kind of give it one of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I, I'm gonna say. That's all I can say right now, but it's yeah. it's amazing. Any, anything else? There's plenty of amazing, uh, amazing donations. Oh, Even wow. Pete Dore gave twenty five dollars. Pete Dore, Pete Dore. I I'm gonna get to thanking Pete yeah. Dore, Pete. There's there's a lot. Actually, I'm gonna steal that from you. I'm gonna actually bring up the whole donations list for you. Oh, second. that's so gonna be good. great. Sorry, yeah, yeah we're gonna just get the setup. Um, but overall, you know, Piff Merkins ten dollars says Johnny, your mom is awesome. So much <laughs> my fun. mom is awesome. That's <laughs> yeah. amazing. I never thought on the show I would hear that my mom is awesome, but I agree with you. I was very nervous to bring my mom on. My mom was very nervous. I uh, thank you everybody for being so kind to my mom. You can be mean to me, I can handle it, as I say. But my mom, I mean, uh, my my mom. She's back in Ontario. She phones me up the other day. She's like, um, I can't believe it. And I'm like, I said, I said, what? She's like, that video is at 25,000 views. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I said, you went back and watched it again. And uh, it was, I really wanted to have my mom on because, um, you know, I know my mom's not super old, but she is 70. And I thought it was very important to have her on the show and to talk to, you know, to, to share that moment. And I, I get a bit emotional thinking about even that. I was like, it amazing. Oh my god. Yeah, refresh that page every like 30 seconds. Me oh Chums, my god. I'll, I'll ask you one right now. Me Chums gave $5. He says, me when Chums. Will we, when will we see an Earthbound review? An Earthbound review? Let me say about an Earthbound Earth review. Uh, a very good friend of mine online, the Happy Video Game Nerd, he did such a wonderful review back in the early days. And I'm going to get to all the early days. He did such an amazing review that that was a very emotional review, right from the heart. And he said everything that I could ever said. I've done some, you know, 20 year look backs on it and talked about some oh, memories, but yeah. I don't think I could ever beat some of those early videos talking about it the same. Um, oh my God, there's so That's many. So many. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you everybody. So I'm so sorry if I can't read all these donations. I'm gonna try. Uh, thank you for all the hard work and dedication. Uh, Jay Dwa Dwag, uh, uh, Mia choose. Uh, have you ever had a bad uh, inter interaction meeting a fan or a person who watches? I like to say a person who watches the show because I think a lot of you guys who watch just watch the show. You're not necessarily a fan of me or anybody. You just uh, everybody always says my fans, my fans. It's so I'm, I I think I've said it in the past. I'm really trying not to say that. But any interactions with people who watch the show, have I ever had a bad encounter? Never, 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 never. And I. 
I, this kind of sounds kind of weird. I'm, I'm somebody that I love human interaction. And if somebody ever came up to me and was kind of insane, I would kind of enjoy that. <laughs> I would, you don't know. I know you know me through the show, but it's very interesting. I'm a very different character at times. I, I like confrontation. That's the, that's, I know that sounds unusual to say. Uh, but thank you for that question. Uh, and this is from uh, Cybersnake7. Hi, Johnny. Congratulations on 10 years of YouTube. I'm, I'm from the UK. Uh, uh, th and thank you, you know, uh, and love the channel. Uh, question for you. What's your favorite uh, gift you've ever received? All the best, Jay. Thank you. The best gift I've ever received. Oh, my God. Uh, I guess there's been, there's been a lot, I think, from my parents back in the day. The Turbo Graphics, the Super Nintendo. Uh, my Macross book, oh, best things ever. Uh, I'm not good at writing messages. Here, take my money. Nova uh, Switch. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you seem to be pretty good at writing a message. You don't seem so bad. Uh, Radical Reggie, thank you for entering uh, today. This is amazing. Uh, I'm a big fan of Radical Reggie, by the way. And thank you for commenting all the videos. I do notice everything. I do notice everything. Dude, you've been an uh, inspiration for me. Thank you, uh, you know, uh, for being yourself. Thank you for being yourself. And thank you for coming onto YouTube, being yourself. And that's, that is what YouTube is supposed to be. It's just supposed to be about you. It's supposed to be about us. This, the Happy Constant Gamer Show is about me, but it's about my friends. It's about our lives. Tr trying to share things with you that, and you know, the, the best messages I've ever gotten are, are from people, you know, saying that they, related to their st their own personal stories through our stories. That's what it's meant to be. That's what this show is meant to be doing. It's always meant to be doing that. Uh, uh, Forsaken88. Uh, hi, Johnny. Uh, keep up the good work. My question is, what game are you looking forward to? Oh, I've already answered that. Yeah, yeah. We're playing in any other room. You get a double. Refresh the page. There's been about 20 more donations. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, everybody. This is very overwhelming. I, had an I have an entire thing I'm trying to get through, and I have... I think another 18 games to hand out to you guys. Um, cheer, okay. Do, 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 do. do I still have the urge for a cigarette? Can I say something? Before I came to do the stream, there was about a, a one second feeling. I was like, whoo, I could sure use a cigarette. <laughs> and let me tell you, in 10 years, I've had that feeling a few times, and I always just move past it. I never ever will smoke a cigarette again. I ne- oh no, I will never smoke a cigarette again. Not in a million years. Uh, and this is from Jens, uh, uh, Jenslin87. John, thank you for the years of entertainment. Uh, the least I could do. I hope others will join me in supporting you on Patreon. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's amazing people who have supported on Patreon. Behind the scenes, I was mentioning it in a Patreon only vlog all the technology. I mean, even right now, running this entire thing, we have the actual camera of the show, the microphone, the lighting, which is all brand new. I know nobody knows that. The, the lighting is all brand new. Uh, even into the laptop and everything that we've got going on here, it's it's quite amazing. So thank you. All the money goes into the show and to do, doing better content. That's the only way you can do it after 10 years. I mean, it's just been a long road. It's been a long road. Uh, Sidewinders, uh, longtime fan, love watching your show. Keep up the great work, and again, congrats on 10 years. Here's to another 10 years. Thank you so much. GMT, I love that's an power. easy one to say. Uh, I donate to Super Chat. Uh, question Can you do a tutorial on how to be so sexy? Happy <laughs> God. <laughs> I, I think only my wife could do that. I don't do sexy dances in the mirror. I'm 44 years old. I, when you get to 40, you just stop doing that. You just don't do that anymore. No more sexy dances after 40. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Barry. It's in your future as well. Oh, you have a little bit of uh, oh, media glitch. I donated to Super Chat. Oh, oh, uh, oh I, I, I already, I already talked. Uh, I already, I think I answered that question. I'm losing my mind here. Uh, <laughs> Gustafok Carm Carmago, cheers from Brazil. Uh, keep up the great work. Uh, I have a question. Uh, ever uh, chase those tech toy Brazilian games? Well, it's funny that you say about Brazilian games. I'm not an expert on it at, uh, at all, but I do know that the Sega Master System was huge in Brazil, and I have on the shelf a Brazilian copy of Fantasy Star that somebody sent me. It must have been about nine years ago. And I just know how big the Master System was. It was huge over there. 
Uh, DJ Granblue. Oh, hey, yes. our friend our DJ friend Steve. Steve. <laughs> Happy ten years, Johnny. Uh, it's a it's a it's we some having someone. Oh, it's great having somebody grow up in the same area. Uh, anyways, cheers to another ten years. I hope to see you. Uh, for sure. Absolutely, dude. I, I know who you are. Me and Bear have talked about you a couple of times. Thank you so much for coming in today. We all share the same love of, you know, JRPGs and things like that. I definitely know that. Uh, and this is from X Comeback Kid. Wow. There's a name from the old days of YouTube. That really hits me there. Hey, Johnny, congrats in 10 years. I remember seeing your vid videos uh, first in 2008. Inspiration, I created my gaming videos, which I definitely remember very well. Uh, you may not remember, but you invited me to dinner at PAX. I do I remember, for sure. I got a great memory. I'm not one of those YouTubers. Do you know how many big YouTubers I've, I've, who've written to me, and then I see them at conventions, and they're like, who are you? They do that to me. I'd never be that. You know, if I forget, I, I apologize, but I definitely remember oh, Comeback Kid. Uh, and I just want to say, yes, I do remember uh, a dinner, and I, I want to say thank you so much. 88 Dread GT. Uh, here's a buck for each year. Uh, the fact that you're uh, that you're here, you know, uh, as a Fantasy Star fan on YouTube. Otherwise, that's what drew me into your channel years ago. Uh, thank you. I, I really, it's 10 years and, oh, do I have any, oh, you know what? That's a great way to segue into uh, a moment uh, with John's first. We won't cut to it. Yeah, I'll just do a little bit of a build up to it. Uh, is that when I started the channel, my very first video I did was Fantasy Star. Uh, a review on Fantasy Star. That was the first big video, and my God, it was very. Oh, uh, I'll do a whole uh, episode watching that video again. But there's one bit in the video that I, I ripped out that I want to show you quickly here, and that is that it's a moment in the video where, and I, trust me, I look terrible in the video. Smoker, once again, I apologize. But I went back to my friend's basement. And I filmed where I'd seen uh, Fantasy Star for the very first time in the summer of 1988. And it's, I even talk about how it's a bit of a, a religious bit for me. And I ripped that video out of my first video. And I wanted to play that. Can we, we play the first video though? First ATG video? Right? We, we played that. We haven't played the, uh, I think it's called Johnny Fantasy Star. Johnny, okay, we don't have that one yet. We right? don't have give, that one? Give us a few minutes, yeah. Give me a few minutes for that one. Yeah. Uh, when, when we're ready, I'll, I'll put that one up. That's a... I'll just go back to some answering some questions here. Um, ED uh, Bursen AT, great show. Thank you so much. Uh, J Dog, thank you for your hard work and dedication. Thank you. I, I won't <laughs> to my own horn, but my God, it's been a hell of a 10 years, man. Doing a weekly show, doing a movie, doing a podcast, doing every single thing that I've done. It's, it's, it's been a lot of work, but it's been joyous. But it's been a lot of me singing in another room in in the darkness. Uh, uh, let's let's go here. Uh, uh, Cyber Snake Seven. Hi Johnny. Congratulations on ten years on YouTube. I'm from a, a UK YouTuber. Love the channel. Uh, what's your favorite gift you've ever? Oh, I've, I think we've gone through some of these. You asked me some of these before, yeah. didn't you? Okay, I, I need to scroll to the bottom. Pete Door. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna come and talk to Pete Door. Pete Door at least twenty five dollars. Oh my God! You know, I I was in Pete's stream about a month ago, bidding on games for him to play. So I, I really appreciate it, Pete. Uh, you coming out to the stream? We got the clip ready, John. Okay, just give me this uh, one sec. Yeah. Uh, so this is what YouTube streams look like. Congrats on ten years, my friend. Thank you, Pete. I'm gonna talk about you uh, in a little bit. But here is the Fantasy Star video where I go back to the very first uh, place I played it, and it's like a bit of a religious experience. So we'll play that now. A couple of years ago I shot this video, it was actually 18 years since I'd played Fantasy Star for the first time at my friend's place who, you know, as I say, lived down the road. I got a chance to, you know, come back to the basement where I'd first seen this game. And it, as stupid as it is, you know, it's, it's so memorable, it's so nostalgic for me to come back and remember this thing. But, um, what was funny about coming back is it just tripped me out so much to, you know, I actually shot this, this is the very spot where the monitor sat, because it actually had it hooked up into a monitor to play it. And, uh, you know, I think over here somewhere, if I ever move the camera around, which I do, this is the very spot I stood in the very first time I saw a fantasy star, next to all of that garbage. Well, that garbage wasn't there at the time, but... My moment right here. So it's like visiting uh, the Holy Grail. Yeah, some, some religious site or something.
It's back. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I was re rendering that out, and I was like, my God, I was such an unhealthy young man. <laughs> so if, you, if, <laughs> if you're thinking about smoking, look at my early videos. Don't. But, you know, I've always been the first person to say, if you want to smoke cigarettes or do whatever you want, do it in your life. Life is short. I... You know, I never preached to anybody about what they should do with their personal life. You want to smoke pot, you want to do whatever it is. Drink all the time. Have fun, man. It's your life. And that's the thing. It is your life. Uh, so get, it's getting back to a few people, I have to get back to some thank yous. I was thanking everybody from my youth, from my childhood, who have come onto the show. Mm, God, it hits me really hard. I want to thank some of my YouTube friends, uh, some of the friends who have been around for a long time. I'm just, and these are in kind of no particular order. I've written these out. I want to thank Joe at GameSack. A big thank you to Joe at GameSack. I want you to know behind the scenes, Joe has, you know, helped me out so much with technical stuff to do with editing, to do with effects and all that. You know, coming onto YouTube, you, we don't have all the answers. We don't know how to do everything. Even today's stream, I didn't know how to do everything at all. And Joe behind the scenes really has helped out. If, if it wasn't for him, there'd be a lot of things that wouldn't have happened. There's a lot of things that wouldn't have worked out well at all. It would have been disastrous. And I just want to thank Joe for that big time. I want to thank my friend Alpha Megasin. And I want to say a little thing about Alpha Megasin. A lot of people watch Alpha Megasin and see him being a big ranter on YouTube. And they're like, oh, that guy, he's just a crazy ranter. He just, he's yelling in my ear. Uh. And I want to say something here. Alpha Mega Sin is one of the nicest people I've ever met. And I've sat across from him like this and had dinner and had lunches and breakfast. He is so calm and relaxed and incredible and so engaging. And he's a really wonderful person. And I, th I want to say that because I don't think a lot of people really know Alpha behind the scenes. And uh, I, think, I think he gets a bit of a bad rap that way, which is crap. Because he's an amazing rancher. He does, I can't ever do that. He does a great job doing that. But he's such a wonderful person. And that's something that you don't, I, I really can't say most genuine person you'll ever meet. And so kind to people who watch his show. I've seen Alpha stand for three hours at a convention in one spot. He can't move. Just talking to everybody about, you know, about the show, about their experiences. He's wonderful. I want to thank Alpha. I want to thank my friend, Jay, JKB. <laughs> Love the guy. He came out this summer. We filmed some videos. We had a great time. Force Friday all the way. And I, what a lot of people don't know is I talk to Jay all the time. And he's a very close friend. And somebody, he's a very big confidant of mine. And, uh, you know, I, I never get a chance to say, Jay, to you. I know we joke around. We troll each other all the time. But I want to say I really am glad to have you as a friend. Like, you're an amazing person. And I really, I uh, really want to thank you today. I want to thank Bear. Thank you. <laughs> Bear over here to the side. Big thank you to Bear. Uh, for I, I met Bear about, oh my God, eight years ago working on the movie. He was a young guy. He was 18 years old then. Yeah. Now he's an evil commentary guy. <laughs> and like doing Justin Wong and Daigo. He's unreal. Unreal. I'm so, and here's something that I can say to Bear uh, is that I'm so proud of you and how far you have come and how talented you are. And thank you for coming on, helping my, me. You know, I'll be, do, I'll be doing this for you in a year's time. <laughs> I tell you, Bear is incredible. Check out his show, Baruti. Uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. He does a lot of Dragon Ball, a lot of fighting game, a lot of fun things. He does Monday Night Fights, which is just awesome. I love. People ask me what I watch. I watch Bear's show. I watch him with his buddies playing crazy old fighting games, kicking the crap out of each other. It really reminds me of me and Rob and when we were younger doing that. I kind of living a little bit through you at certain times. And I, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I, another person I want to thank, a huge inspiration in my life and in the lives of many of you out there. And I think a lot of you have watched him on television. Growing up, I know he was all over Canada. He was in some select cities in the States. Huge inspiration. Let me say, I can't go anywhere in Vancouver with Victor Lucas without him getting recognized somewhere. And I wanted to thank Vic uh, so much, uh, Victor Lucas, for coming into my life and being a huge inspiration for me. 
in a lot of ways I've never talked about in a professional way, in a way to really organize myself. And I looked up me and Bear uh, and everybody watched him growing up and he was a huge inspiration and he accomplished so many incredible things in the industry. He still is for, uh, to this day with the electric playground. He did it for so many years, 20 years. He's still going. This guy is, I said, I don't think Victor Lucas is a human being. I think he's a robotic machine <laughs> sent back in time to teach us things about video games. He is something incredible. And I just want to say to Vic personally, thank you for kind of taking me under your wing and show me the ropes of a lot of, of a world out there that I didn't know. And uh, you know, maybe we can cut to that clip. I'm gonna set this up. Uh, I know a lot of you don't know, I do a, a movie review show with Vic. It's called Film Fury. And what we do is we go and see a movie uh, early. We go into the streets of Vancouver and we don't talk to each other about what we think of the movie. We always, we leave the theater and we go set up all the cameras and we review straight away. Uh, you know, like, you, so we, we, we don't know what's going to happen. It's live. Vic's done this for years. I haven't. So the weirdest things can happen, you know? So I have a clip here for you guys of things that go wrong behind the scenes. But I want to say, look at me and Vic. We stay nice. We stay professional, even when things are a little silly. And this is one of the scenes that goes wrong. This is a blooper and outtake, and we'll play that now. Movies, movies have, have been, been too much, much of that, that you know? Yeah. And Into it just, darkness, I mean, especially. Yeah, Captain Kirk doing uh, jumps on motorbikes and stuff oh, like that. Oh, God. So I don't know if it's a... Um, I'm waiting for this guy. I, What's up? We're working right we're now. We're filming right now, man. Yeah. Right. Dude, can we finish our shot? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? All right, all set. We're not going to take a long time, no. It's slowing down now. Okay. We can't roll with you in the shot. Take it easy, buddy. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Of course we do, for sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We're ready? Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't even know where the hell we were. Uh, what the hell we were? Oh, I, and I don't know if it's because, you know. Okay, um, that's a funny blooper outtake. Things don't always go according to plan behind the scenes with me and Vic doing this stuff in the streets. We always, you know, I, I want to say we see him in the wheelchair all the time. He, a bit of a drinking guy and all of that. And, you know, you know, <laughs> things can go uh, kind of weird. But I just want to say, I, we went to that clip and we were refreshing this. And I cut to the bottom and I'm like, is this for real? And Bear is trying to confirm it. I'm trying to confirm it. A thousand... <laughs> a thousand dollar dona donation from Brown Man? A thousand dollar donation? Congrats on 10 years, Johnny. Here's to many more. A moment of silence. Have a drink. Have a drink. I'm drinking green tea for anybody who wants to know. If I was drinking alcohol, I could never get through this. I'd be like, hey, I'd be drunk right now. <laughs> if I was drinking, I am, I'm absolutely stunned. Is that like for real? That's for real. <laughs> I'm always like, is that, is that a joke? <laughs> I kind of like waiting for like a, to, to, to cancel it and, <laughs> and all of that. Well, I obviously, will take it as legit at this point and say, Brown Man, thank you so much. That is, I, 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 I never thought, I never thought, I never thought we'd see a donation like that. I mean, what, everybody's donating one to two dollars, you know, two to five or whatever it is. And I'd say, thank you for that. Like, I can't keep up. I'm feeling, do you know what I'm feeling now? I'm feeling frustrated that I can't give everybody the due diligence here. Um, Antonio, great work. I really like 
uh, the new video you made, um, uh, watching uh, live from Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Hello, all of the entire world. What technology we have now. When I was a kid, we didn't have this technology. We sat in a basement, smoked cigarettes, and played video games. There was no other outlet. This didn't exist. Uh, I just can't get over. I can't get over. I can't get over the donations. I mean, what in God's name? Uh, more love from Brazil. This is from Smoker Monster. It's so bad. Uh, more love from Brazil. Enjoy everything about your channel. Keep it up, brother. Thank you. I I appreciate it too. Uh, just keeping that in mind, uh, could you tell my pet cockatiel, Dusty, that he's be that he's a beautiful bird? How do you say that name? My pet cockatiel. Dusty. Dusty. I, I, I'm saying this to a cockatiel. You're a beautiful bird and don't let anybody ever tell you that that ain't true. Wow. <laughs> uh, con um, Gamer Barney, congrats in 10 years. Guys, my favorite YouTube channel so far. Love the passion. Um, thank you for all the videos. Thank you. Uh, there's some... I'm going to try to get through all this. Um, Alistair. That's the name of my uncle uh, from Scotland. Uh, but I don't think it's the same Alistair. He's, he doesn't do YouTube streaming <laughs> at all. Like, he, has, he wears a kilt and he lives in Scotland. And he, yeah, he's out with the sheep. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad, but he's out with the sheep. Um, leaves a $100 donation. Congrats on 10 years of the show, Johnny. Favorite show on YouTube. Uh, I, I found you watching the Grandia series review uh, with Rob back in 2011. And the All Gen Gamers podcast was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, that, that really gets me back into doing some more thank yous. Thank you for that, Alistair. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brown Man, again. Oh, my God. Here we go. I just I want to get back to some thank yous. Uh, Game Dave. I want to say, thank Game Dave, one of the most underrated shows on YouTube. Game Dave is phenomenal. And Game Dave is a very good friend of mine, behind the scenes as well. Uh, his, his channel is in, an inspiration to me. You guys have all got to go over and subscribe to Game Dave. Do yourself a favor. My show is just a show where I come on and, uh, and kind of you know rant and rave or whatever. And and I I I, also, I can't under you know cut my show. We do we've done a lot on here, but Game Dave has such a quality of show, and that's a show when he puts up an episode, I always watch it, and I always think it's incredible. Check out Game Dave. I want to thank another friend of mine in Scotland, Chris. Chris, you know yourself. You you know who you are. I want to say personally thank you so much. Uh, for doing some of the video game footage uh, at the last minute, sometimes I'm like, dude, I need some footage from Mario Galaxy, and he's in, uh, you know, Scotland, and he sends it over to me, and he did the the European video game episode with me, and he came over here, and we hung out, and we had an amazing time, a very good friend of mine, and I really appreciate having him coming in, uh, uh, you know, onto the show, and for helping behind the scenes. Up. Now, so Pete Dore, I want to talk about the early days of uh, YouTube and what it was like then to now, and I'm gonna get back to some giving some games away as well. We have so many to give, give away. I just wanna say, like, when I came onto YouTube, I remember I got a little message from a YouTuber uh, who hadn't started a channel called Pete Door. And I don't know how many subscribers I had, maybe I had one or two. I think even that was pushing it. And this Pete Door wrote to me and he's like, hey, I really like your channel. I really wanna talk about video games as well. And I said to him, hey, start your channel as well. Start, absolutely, you should talk about this stuff. And then Pete blew up, and he did extremely well. And here's something that I want to say about Pete Dore. Uh, something behind the scenes I want to say about Pete Dore. Pete Dore is one of my favorite gaming channels on YouTube. And I really miss it. He's not doing it anymore. You can find him on Twitch now. But I can say behind the scenes, I'm, I'm upset. And I can say that we lost the Pete Door from the YouTube uh, scene. It was really nice he came in and donated a little bit ago. Thank you, Pete, for that. I just want to say that, Pete, like, it's wonderful having, you know, you on YouTube. You were the guy that I loved watching. I trusted your opinions so much in games. I learned so much. And, like, that's the thing, guys. I don't know everything about every video game ever released. I'm not an expert. I'm a fan. I love this medium. 
But I, I love watching other YouTubers and learning about a lot of great stuff. It's it's a lot of a lot of fun. Pete Doerr is one of those people for me. And another great friend of mine, GameStore81, I want to say a big thank you to him. This is the early days of YouTube. And the, like back in the early days of YouTube, when I started 10 years ago, look at YouTube now. I went the other day to the Nintendo Direct, was streaming, and I checked my subscription box, and there was like, I swear to God, 10 channels doing live streams. And I was like, oh my God, has life ever changed? Like all these, and I just watched it, and then I just kind of edited my own video. And I thought, man, my video will get lost in the, in the, uh, the sea of it all. But how things have changed from the early days. I remember doing a Dead Space review back in the day. And it was my review and IGN's on YouTube. That was it. There was nothing else. It was, I remember when I put up my first Neo Geo video. It was the only Neo Geo video on YouTube. Fantasy Star. Nobody had talked about Fantasy Star. Ease. Nobody had talked about I had, I couldn't believe I had, there were so many firsts for the show that I am very proud of. Uh, and uh, all of those people back in the day, the, you know, obviously there was the VGN, but it was the Happy Video Game Nerd, and there was, a, uh, you know, Splatter Trigger. There's a lot of smaller channels. Some, a lot of them are gone now. A lot of them are gone. And it's, 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 taken, it's taken a lot to keep going for 10 years. And I, I really want to thank everybody for sticking with us and for enjoying all the stuff that we do. And it, it's, it, it is a lot of work, uh, but we enjoy doing it. Not complaining, not complaining. I think it's time to give uh, some more codes out. I want to give something back to you guys I now. Um, uh, do we take the old the tweets down or? I'll take the, I'll take them down if you want me to. Yeah. Yeah. So no, everybody's confused that they're up sure, for too sure. too long. Uh, so Bear will do that. I'll just do some more thankings in the chat. Um, uh, this is from Emos. Uh, congrats on ten years of the show, Johnny. Uh, favorite show on YouTube. Oh yeah, I've already I already talked. To you. I'm getting confused. Uh, Daily Lamb, Lama, 22. Uh, you're, you're a special man, pretty new to the channel, longtime fan of Victor Lucas and EPN, found you through following him, and now I can't stop catching up on all your old content. Thank you. It's a, it's amazing. It's such a different world, and I think I'm learning a lot about the television world from Victor Lucas, and he's learning a lot about the YouTube space. We're learning a lot from each other. It's, it's, we're, and I'm combining a lot of things that I, I saw from reviews on the run. Sometimes I go and review a video game in a forest, and it's very therapeutic. You know, a lot of people club. say, I don't know how to create a brand new it's video so game bad. channel. I, there's, there's so many ways to create a brand new video game channel. There's so many. You could just get a microphone, go out somewhere, get a backdrop, and just film. That's it. Just do. I'm mean, just do. Add your own flavor. Do it in a funny costume. I mean, if I didn't have this show right now, I could do so many different types of shows. I have so many ideas. Okay, so we're gonna give out yep. from Square Enix. Okay. We're gonna give Final Fantasy IX on the PS4. Ooh. And for anybody who hasn't been, there's there's only one of those. Where codes. did they find it? So that's exactly it. It's gonna go up on my Twitter. It's gonna be a JPEG. You're gonna have to manually enter it in. Uh, to get the code to play the game. And that's to stop bots. That's to stop bots from ripping it and entering into PSN accounts automatically. Uh, as I say, when I started the stream, I learned about that very, very early on. So that is up on Twitter right now? Right now. Right now. So Final Fantasy IX, for anybody who doesn't have it on PS4, try to get it, for sure. That's the best I can do for all of you. Um, okay, uh, ChronoLink91. Uh, uh, he lives t gives $20. Thank you so much. Uh, first video I saw was the Distant Worlds review. Oh my god, that was a long time ago. Even I'd forgotten about that. Uh, it was the game concerts. Uh, you're my favorite channel. What is the best game concert series you, you've seen? Uh, best video game arrangements. Uh, video game arrangements, I'd probably give it to the E series. My god, could you imagine watching an E's live concert? That would be amazing. But I probably think it would be Zelda. Zelda was an amazingly good concert, and Video Games Live was really good. Tommy Tellerico, what a great host. I mean, it was him with a guitar going on. It was very, very fun back then. I think it was about nine years ago I saw that. So let's give one more from Ubisoft, and then that kind of gets Ubisoft finished from the codes that they've given us. One more code going up, and this is an Xbox One X code. Everybody, so everybody who's sitting by their PS4s, get to your Xbox Ones uh, for this one. I've only got one code of this. It's Assassin's Creed Origins, and this is on the Xbox One. 
Even I haven't played this game. <laughs> You know, a lot of people will say to me, Oh, Johnny, you reviewed that game. and Oh, of course you loved it. And it's like, there's a big thing that I want to, 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 uh, to say today is that I only ask for codes for games that, of games that I want to play. I don't ask for things of things that I don't want to play. I'm like, oh, like Assassin's Creed is um, a really robust series. And I don't, I'm not a hater on it, but it's not really my thing. You know, I'm not like, there's a lot of gameplay. There's a lot of stuff going on. But in my spectrum of games I play... It's one that I come, uh, kind of like, okay, that's cool, but I kind of took a pass on it. Uh, I, I review games like Nino Kuni, uh, two in the other room. <laughs> you gotta say Nino Kuni, yeah. I'll say nay. I, I'm such a kind of lazy speaker that way. Yeah. Um, but I ask for codes of, of things that I, I think I'm gonna enjoy. So a lot of my reviews, you'll see me gush and have a bit of fun. I'm, I'm really being passionate about modern ga day gaming and how incredible it is. And, and we should be thankful, I think, a lot. There's a lot to bitch about on YouTube as well, let me tell you. But there's a lot to be thankful for uh, in the space of video gaming and all that. So that's Assassin's Creed done. And uh, you know what? I I'm just going to finish up with some of my thank yous so I can get that portion of the video done. So thank P. Door, Games Trady One. I want to thank Mega Steak Man for doing all of the Halloween specials. And he took it to such a level with these Halloween specials that I don't think I could ever do it that well again. I mean, he took the last Halloween special we did was so incredible. And I'm still apologizing to Kyle to this day for the amount of work he did on it. I wrote it up, I storyboarded the entire film, I gave it to Kyle, me and Rob went over there and filmed everything, and then Kyle had to go off and make the video. And he even came down to Oregon with us and was working on it behind the scenes. And I, I still feel bad about that video. He did so much work, and I, I just wanna give props to Mega Steak Man. He's not making as many videos these days, he's doing a lot of VR stuff in uh, reality. But a big thank you to, to Kyle of Mega Stigman. Another, uh, this is nearly the last person to thank, Hanzo, the great heavy metal Hanzo, who has done all of the artwork on the show for the last 10 years. He's done every bit of artwork and uh, he's an incredible artist from Germany. He moved out over here and he lived down the street. But what was funny about it, this is funny, I, I'm gonna say it Hanzo if you're watching. He would come over here. He was here every day because he didn't know how to cook. So he was here every day. Me and Kim were always making him meals every day. And he's drawing and we're watching anime together and playing video games. It's a, a really nice time to have Hans over. Uh, and you should see, he did all the alternative uh, you know, costumes on Street Fighter 4 for Capcom. That's how big of an artist he is. And he was living in my other room, I swear to God, for like a year. And it was so great having Hanzo here. I even did an episode where I drew with Hanzo. And we had a really uh, cool thing with that. You know, I'd love to do is, I'd love to do a stream in the future where I draw. That'd be so, that'd be crazy. I'm going to get back to some of the uh, donations. Of course, yes. refresh the page. <laughs> oh my, God, really? Every, every time I refresh the page, I feel so guilty. It's so insane. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um... Oh my god. I love the power oh glove. Oh my god. It's so bad. Okay, catching up from the last one. Random dude left a dollar. And I'll, I'll say thank you for that random, uh, random dude. That's a damn cool name. Uh, thank you for your love of old anime. It's rarity to find old anime fans. Uh, fans, much, I, I love classics like Megazone and Gal Force. Oh, that, those are awesome, dude. Uh, I'm only 26, but a huge fan of the older animes. And I can relate to these older classics. I want to say thank you for that question. And I also want to say that I feel it as well. There's not a... My generation that grew up with anime, they don't... A lot of them don't, uh, you know, get in front of a camera and talk about it. I, I've often said that my generation is the shamed generation. I got to 14 years old and my mom was like, Well, John, you can't ask for Transformers or G.I. Joe anymore for Christmas. And I was like, I can't? Like, I What? <laughs> I mean, I've got my little Transformers collection over here. But uh, I thought I had to grow up. I thought, oh, I have to grow up. And my, our parents kind of forced us to grow up. But let me tell you this. I worked against it. Me and Rob fought against that back in the day and said, no, no. This is what we love. This is what we enjoy. And uh, yeah, and, and I think my, but a lot of my generation didn't. 
uh, you know, they felt shamed. And so they were like, oh, they just went and got jobs and had families and didn't, you know, never watch anime or video games ever again or, or uh, and, you know, or talk about it ever again. And so I feel I'm one of the very few people that talks about what anime was like in, you know, in, say, 1988. I watched it on beta. I had tapes sent to me from Victoria that, you know, that these are the crazy old stories of things back in the day. So thank you for that. And thanks for the old anime love. Snatcher. That's an easy one to do. A great old classic game. Uh, $5. As a fellow fan of Snatcher, what was your first experience with the game or favorite part? Thanks for 10 wonderful years. Thank you for donating. And Snatcher is an interesting one. Me and my friend Andrew rented it and we discovered it that way. And yeah, and we didn't own it after that. We rented it and returned it. It was the most amazing game. And I can't, you know, a lot of younger people are like, what was the big deal about Snatcher? It was, you'd never seen anything like this game, ever. I mean, the interactivity of it, the anime cutscenes, and choose your own adventure. I, I could get, I could do a whole hour long video on Snatcher, but that's when I first kind of discovered it. Oh my God. Right after Snatcher, uh, Hammer 11, $100 tip. So my mouth is dry, I need green tea. Holy shit. Congrats in 10 years. Any chance we'll get a, <laughs> a revival of Love Talk? <laughs> uh, for anybody who doesn't know, his question refers back to the All Gen Gamers podcast we used to do. And we used to have a segment on it where people in the forums would add, ask me Love qu uh, love Talk questions. And, you know, I'm not saying anything when I was a younger guy. I, I dated a lot of women. Uh... You know, not that there's anything wrong with that or whatever. I did a lot of women and I had a lot of stories. And I had a lot of experience about the, the ups and downs, no pun intended, of dating back in the day. And how kind of crazy it is. And I, I really know about all the all the things that can go wrong. Or Dating is one of the hardest, most... Dating is the hardest video game there is. It really is. I mean, never mind those Tookie Meki Memorial games. Dating is the, the hardest thing. But yeah, I used, to, I used to answer love to talk questions on there. It used to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, but I, I had to leave the all-gen gamers. My workload was getting too much. Uh, and this one is by Quick, uh, Quick, uh, Quick Tick. My God, people's names are crazy. $5. Will we, uh, will we get some more of the older videos that you found from the 2000s, like the Anime Expo trip? Thank you for bringing that up. On the laptop over here is all the Anime Expo videos from back in the day. And I'm going to try to put it together in a video. Uh, it's from a, a crazier time, the 2000s. And I filmed everything of this vacation. All the behind the scenes stuff. Going to Anime Expo and what we kind of got up to. And we were, we were bugging one of my friends and being brutal to him. And telling him we were going to, like, oh my god, it's, it's, it's really, it's really nuts. It's really nuts. It's like, that's a funny video I, I can't wait to put together. You guys will be like, this is insanity. Uh, I'm moving on, uh, BBQ. Love the show. My favorite episode is about how you uh, qu uh, quit smoking cigarettes. It still inspires me to quit. Thank you for the year's content. Thank you, uh, BBQ. I was watching my quitting uh, smoking episode last night. Maybe I was thinking about this show. As subconsciously, I was thinking about, oh man, I'm, you know, this is like coming in and doing this live show today. I was watching myself do that. Oh, Phobos 2K2 uh, leaves, oh my God, the tip is 666. And that is the sign of the devil. Mr. Shimizu rises from the grave to say, too satanic, John, too satanic. <laughs> Mr. Shimizu, why couldn't you have just, you know, enjoyed my Warhammer artwork back then? Why did you have to think that my, my anime artwork was satanic? Because you were too ignorant to understand it. Rest in peace, Mr. Shimizu. I'm looking at you up there and I'm thinking about you. I'll, I'll, I'll be up there with my artwork someday. It might be sooner than later. You never know. And so uh, we get a $2 tip from uh, Dare Drizzle. Hey, Johnny, I sent you uh, a long message on the PS... For yesterday, and you responded to me. You don't know how much that meant to me. You didn't have to, but you did. Uh, you're such a great guy. Thank you. Thank you, Dare Drizzle. I, I want to say I we were setting up to play uh, Nino Kuni 2, and uh, me and Kim were getting set up, and I saw your message, and I read it, and it really meant a lot to me, and I, I, I want to thank you, and, and thank your dad for watching as well. I did read the message. Thank you. It really means a lot. 
And above that, $20 tip. Oh my god, almighty. Gabriel, uh, thank you for being such a huge inspiration over the years and most important for being such a genuine guy over the past decade. You're not a legend and I wish you all the best for the next 10 years on the show. Wow, uh, big tear. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so happy that so many of you guys, you guys have watched over the, the years and have gotten something out of this show. And as I say, when I look out there into the audience, I don't think, oh, these are all my fans. I think these are all, you know, all of the people who watch my show. And I want to thank you. And I want to thank you for coming into the stream today. I said, it really, it really means a lot. It really means a lot that you're all joining me here. How many people are in the stream at this point? Right now, we have 2,140 people. 2,140 2, 100 people watching right now. This is absolutely insane. And I'm going to do it. I want to give away three more codes. Yeah. And we'll do them in succession. And we're going to do one right after the other. Okay. We're going to do Final Fantasy 15 on the PS4, the Royal Edition. Oh. I have three of these codes to give away. And how we're giving away the codes is on my Twitter. You don't have to be a part of my Twitter. You don't have to do anything like that. I just, I'm posting the codes on there. And they're JPEG, so you have to manually enter in the codes into your PS4. You have to do that. That's so bots don't steal this away from us. And we're not having that happen today. No bot can do that, which is great. Only human beings can do it. So that, therefore, it's going out to you guys the way I want it to. And I have three of these codes to give away. Final Fantasy XV, as I say, the Royal Edition is on PS4. We're putting out the first code, and then we'll put out the second code and the third. All There'll be three of them. Yeah. And so... Yes, I, I will answer some more questions here. Just let me know when they're up. Yeah. Ukraine fan doesn't leave a message, just leaves twenty dollars. Well, thank you, 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 you Ukrainian fan. I, I do appreciate that. Um, Cygnus Terminal, Cygnus Terminal, uh, five dollars. Hey, Johnny, congrats on ten years. Uh, you have a very big. Re, re, you are a very big reason. I have a big, uh, you know, vibe. Uh, you know, love for retro gaming. Keep up the good work. Hope to see you around for another 10 years. I'd love to see more series retrospectives. A Castlevania one. You know, it's funny. We've been talking about doing a Castlevania one for a long time. I think that'd be a great episode for me and Rob to do. A look back on our favorite Castlevania memories. Shit, I've already given away an episode. That that's, I had a great episode with Rob coming up next week, too. All, three, amazing. all three are going to go up at when one tweet, three pictures. Okay, yeah. so guys, right now there's going to be one tweet... And all three pictures of Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition on PS4 are going live. They're up there now, are they? Right now, yeah. Right now. So grab them, enter them, enjoy for anybody who does not have them. Anybody who does have them, we have a few more codes in the future here. We've got some Dissidia codes coming up as well. Dissidia NT, Deluxe Codes. Yeah. We'll do them in a little bit. So I'm just going to cross off that so I don't repeat the same codes. Okay. And we'll get back to some... Questions uh, from all you amazing people. Cygnus Terminal, yes, I, I like I, I just answered that one. Thank you so much. Um, Professor City, thank you uh, for the five dollars. Appreciated. Uh, Doggy Doggy Mon eighty three. I like the name Doggy Mon eighty three. Uh, you're in my Shemu video. It's a parody of the uh, Toy uh, Toy Story song. Hope you have a chance to play it. Uh, we'll check it out. After the stream, I'll go back and check it out. Thank you. Uh, Chris uh, leaves a t uh, $5 tip. Uh, thanks for the awesome content throughout the years. Keep it up. Thank you to you. I really do appreciate it. The Masked Gamer. $10 tip. The Masked Gamer. I guess he's a gamer that wears a mask, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken here. Hi, Johnny. Love your channel. Your positive views have changed uh, my outlook uh, on everything. Uh, keep it up, dude. Thank you. Well, thank you. I, I, you know, it's, it's so wonderful that you guys are taking the time to come in and say things like that. To me, that is absolutely unreal. Like, we've done the show, you know, for, for the love of video games, for the love of our passion, for this hobby. And, you know, a lot of people have said to me, you know, I saw a lot of small YouTubers really upset about demonetization on their videos. You know, you had to have a certain amount of subscribers. And I, I just want to say something is that, I think to start YouTube, it's not, hey, this is not for everybody, but this is for me. 
When I started on YouTube, you couldn't even get monetized. It didn't even exist. Yeah. It didn't. You had to apply for partnership, and then you couldn't even get partnered. I remember Pete Dore got partnered on YouTube. He was like one of the first people I knew who did. And everybody was calling him a shill and a sellout that he, that he had ads on his videos. And he was the first person I'd ever seen. That was 10 years ago to get that. And I did my very first 100 episodes of the show for the passion, for the love of doing it. And I thought, oh, maybe in the future, maybe I can sell some t-shirts if the show gets bigger. Or I can make, make, make it maybe make a, like a DVD. That was also a possibility of the show. But I was like, you know, you didn't know. But I did it because I love video games. I wanted to talk about Fantasy Star and Ease. I didn't want these games to be forgotten. And, you know, the, the YouTube playing field is very different now. It's, it's come, turned into a very different thing and all that. Now, I just want to give a big quick shout out just to a few. We had some big super chat donations. Okay, yeah. Too. I mean, we prefer the stream lab, stream lab so you can kind of get to them later. Yes. But a selfie donate $50. For there. He says, thank you for your uh, Fantasy Star coverage. Thank you, yes. Uh, another Fantasy big Star. one from Quick Sci-Fi donated $100. Whoa, Quick Sci-Fi. Yeah. $100. He says, uh, cheers from Miami. Love the show. Keep up the great work. He says, F camera equipment and get yourself a $100 game. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for the, uh, my God, thank you um, all, all the way to Miami there. That's incredible. And yeah, big here. Here is the Fantasy Star collection right here, representing in 10 years, Nothing has changed with my love for any of this stuff. In fact, it's only gotten stronger. And as I've gotten older, I, I get, I'm getting more nostalgic as I'm getting older, which is even worse. I, have, I just want to say, I have one more plan to do one more Fantasy Star video. And it'll probably be the final Fantasy Star video I'll do because I've done it. I covered so much of Fantasy Star on the channel. But I'd like to go and do one more final thing and do it more with my modern style here and... And all of that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you. Yeah, Fancy oh, Star is my absolute love. And thank you for $100. Oh, my God. That's crazy, man. Fucking crazy. Um, okay, the mask game. Ant Dude. Ant Dude. I want to say a little something about Ant Dude. He gave a $5 donation. I'll read his thing first. Congratulations on 10 years. Been watching for roughly eight years. You're a constant uh, source of entertainment and positivity. And it's awesome. Uh, here's to many more. Wow, I, first of all, thank you, uh, Ant Dude. And I, I wanna say something to you. It's funny, I was doing, I was researching Kingdom Hearts, and this is a w while ago. And I was like searching YouTube to try to find a really good retrospective on, on Kingdom Hearts, Could, couldn't find anything. But I came across Ant Dude's videos. And I was like, this guy's videos are fucking awesome. His personality, his presentation, and his love for the Kingdom Hearts series and all the other game series he's covered really made this guy stand out to me. I was like, who is this guy? And I, and it was so cool because his channel hadn't blown up then. And so it was really kind of nice for me. I looked him up. I was like, oh, I, I really want to send this guy a message and to say thank you for doing these videos. Because uh, I, I watched all of them in one day. I watched hours and hours of his stuff to try to understand a lot more about Kingdom Hearts. Because as I say, we all don't know everything around here. And uh, I thought his videos were very informative. And I sent, I, so I looked him up on Twitter and he was following me. And I was like, this is amazing. So I sent him a message and I was able to kind of gush and say, your videos are amazing, all of that. And then after that, it seemed so weird. It may have been too, too, uh, too, a little bit after that, his channel exploded on YouTube. Check him out, Ant Dude, on YouTube. A really wonderful YouTuber guy, real up and coming channel. Phenomenal. There's a lot of really good up and coming channels out there. RGT, Sean Long is another really good channel. I want to give out my props to him. You know, there's there's a lot of people I don't uh, ever get a chance to, to say things about. Uh, the Game Chasers, phenomenal guys. I've, I've been, you know, dealing with these guys for a long time. Super great. I even want to say a big shout out to that. Wood on Beat em Ups. His channel has exploded. It's got super huge over the last little while here and uh, even a bit Eric you know all of these guys these guys there's there's so many and I will I want to say something else that I plan to do a, an episode on smaller youtuber channels pretty soon that's gonna come up I want to say big shout out to Joel Valley of media glitch love the guy check out media glitch I Joel is an incredible guy filmmaker Lots to talk about, and I gotta keep going on. on, on. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my. Yep. Okay. Um, 
ten dollars to fur says thank you thank you uh your videos about girlfriends friends and your final fantasy 11 addiction uh thank you for your uh vulnerable uh, your, your vulnerable and, and sharing your enthusiastic stories well well thank you and it's it's really interesting it's funny i, I checked out a video i did my fan final fantasy addictions video i was addicted to the game and I was like, oh, I wonder how I haven't seen that video in a couple of years. I don't know. I don't I don't always like looking at my views and things. And and I looked and it's like over a hundred thousand views. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like, what? Real, what? And then I read all the comments and it's like, everybody's like, oh my God, I relate to this. I was like, that's amazing. Really? Yeah. So thank you so much. Um, Lilia leaves a $15 tip. Thank you for all you've done, Johnny. You're the man. Uh, and you got me into the East series. Uh, that's how I found out uh, about you. I, I hope uh, I get to meet you face to face one day, especially in Yorkshire, uh, uh, where you've you've always uh, got a place uh, to be. I, I want to say thank you. Uh, that really means a lot, and it's so wonderful that people have discovered, you know, the E series for me. And uh, a shout out to Yorkshire, England. That's where I grew up. Uh, if anybody uh, wants to know where I'm from in Yorkshire, Wakefield. I, uh, I was uh, born in Wakefield there, and I lived in Wakefield till I was seven years old. And then my parents said, fuck you, you're moving to Canada. And we moved to Canada. And all of a sudden, I'm in Canada, grade one, 1981, when The Empire Strikes Back came out. And I was so... Everybody in my class was Canadian. I had, a, I had a Yorkshire accent. I was so embarrassed about my Yorkshire accent that I made myself lose it in about two months. It was one of the most traumatic things in my life. I sounded so weird when I was played back on this little play. It was crazy. So big, big shout out to Yorkshire uh, there. Uh, uh, Shred the Gamer says, Johnny, thank you for 10 years. Looking for the next 10. If it wasn't for you, I would have never uh, knew about the greatness that is the ease. So happy. Over, over over the years, over the years to talk about ease, uh, for so many people to come to know the series from my stupid ass. You know what I mean? It's like it's that's great. This is when the YouTube show has worked. This is when I'm here ten years later, looking back, saying the YouTube show has worked. If I got out to you guys and made you see or experience a game that you didn't know about and you played it and you enjoyed it, that is everything. That is everything. As I say, I was saying earlier on, it's like me watching Pete Dor and being inspired by him. And, uh, you know, like, and watching him get excited about video games, going, oh, I didn't know about that. And me having a fun time. So I really kind of relate to that as well. Um, sh thank you for that one. Uh, an $8 tip from Leo. I've uh, been watching for about two years now and appreciate your sharing your memories. I spent multiple days binge watching your episodes. Thank you. You know, it's really weird. I sit here sometimes on my own. I've said to Kim, I'm like, I can't believe sometimes how many people watch the show. I never sing sing when I'm here by myself. Today's the first day where I'm really feeling it. I'm really seeing it. I, I, it's only when I go to conventions do I really interact with people. Other than that, I'm singing in the darkness on my own. It's pretty much, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a little bit of fun. Uh, by, uh, by Lair Terror says, you, you ever plan on going to Ontario sometime, like to a convention or something? It would be cool to meet you. Uh, and have you, have you played Celeste last yet? I haven't played that game yet. A lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of people love the game. Uh, I will be out to Ontario in the future. All my family, my mom and sister live out there. My nephew lives out there. So if I'm ever out there, I'll try to do a convention at the same time. I did it a few years ago. I went, I drove down to Philadelphia. Um, we did uh, Too Many Games with, with uh, you know, Epic uh, James and uh, Re-Rez and JKB. Uh, that was incredible. So if I'm ever out there... Uh, Hyvan says, $3, thanks for a great show. Thank you. Uh, did that one. I, I, do I have to refresh again? Oh my God. I love the power glove. Okay, I think it's time to give out some more codes. Yep. And we're going to do three into one tweet again. Okay. Which will be really great. So, get your PS4s ready. We have Dissidia NT Deluxe for PS4. And for any of you who are just tuning in, what we're doing with this is we're tweeting him out onto my Twitter, just the codes on a JPEG. You have to manually type it in. Uh, three codes are going to be going up very quickly here. And then you can just manually type those uh, codes in and enter them uh, if you don't have these games. Uh, so that's one thing that we're trying to do today is give away a lot of games. 
Uh, it's my way of giving back to you guys for watching all these years. I wish I could give every person watching, like over 2,000, a game. I really would. I wish I could do that. Do you want to count down, John, of when you want them out? Okay, we're going to go three, two, one. Up on Twitter right now. Grab the codes for sure. And I'll just go back to answering some questions here. Oh, my goodness. Every time I, I refresh, it's, it's insane. I can't get through all of these. <laughs> like it's insane um because i don't want to just do the top uh, donation ones i'm trying to do all of them uh, um uh, ten dollars from the beast trivia says hey man uh some people want to be rich rather have the blessed following my passion like you thank you have an awesome uh, uh thank you for being such an awesome co uh, contribution to the youtube uh, in, in general, thank you so much for that. Uh, uh, Neil uh, Priscelli uh, writes, uh, $5, you have excellent taste in classic an anime, uh, Johnny. Would love uh, for you to talk about it more. Uh, continue rocking for 10 more years. Uh, thank you. There will be more anime, old school anime episodes coming up for sure. And let me say something. I'm sitting on the floor kneeling down. Kim did an episode with me. She lasted like five minutes. Like, ah, my legs. I'm kind of, you know, so anybody wants to know how am I, oh God, that could go into a really good fucking joke for sure. But why I'm so good at sitting on my knees is not from anything else other than playing NES games as a kid. Because when I was a kid, the cord is so short, you had to get right up to the TV. My friend Andrew was smart. He would pull in the uh, his couch or his chair and he'd be like sitting right next to it. I have started doing that the last few years, but yeah, you know, when I started doing this show, Humble Beginnings, I had this table here, this magic table, and I had to sit here to do the show. This is all I had. And I, now it's stuck. You know, like this is this the way, the way it is. For, from now on. So, a uh, big thank you. Um, we got $10 from Van uh, Kellert. Uh, greetings from Germany. Big big uh, shout out to Germany. My wife is from Germany. Uh, her whole family's from Germany. Maybe one day we'll go to Germany. That, that'd be a pretty cool uh, trip just to visit her home country there. Uh, and Very says $5. I loved hey, I can't believe it's been 10 years. I've only seen you for the last two years. And it's been awesome. Thanks for sending me that DVD that you gave me a while ago. I appreciate it. You're so positive and, and everything and seem like such a nice guy. Thank you. I think I think I do I, I do remember you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I absolutely. For sure, you know, like if I can ever give back and that's why, you know, like the DVD to you, that, that's amazing. That's the, the kinds of things I'd like to do. Uh, sometimes guys and gals, there's so many messages that come the way of the show now. It's impossible to keep up. In fact, it's uh, it's hard. It's it's frustrating for me uh, to to be able to keep up. I I wish I could get back to everybody. Back in the older days, when I had about two to five thousand subscribers, I could do that. But it's it's very hard now. Um, Captain Harlock, Captain Harlock is in the stream. One of my favorite old school anime characters. That's amazing. Congratulations, ten years. A great big hug from Germany. Captain Harlock, great big hug back to Germany. Amazing. And all that. Is there anything I'm missing, Mary? No, no, you're looking good. We're all good. good. We're getting, getting caught up. Uh, caught up. Got to refresh again. I, I, I will in a little bit. I think, I think it was, uh, there's another thing. I'm going to take a moment to have a, a small a one-minute break. Or we're going to cut to... This is a fun one. This is the Halloween... Uh, a bit of the Halloween special where Rob is dressed up as the character from Splatter, uh, from Splatterhouse, and he's chasing after me. And this, this is, and you know, it's going to screw, screw with your heads. This is nine years ago. This is nine years ago. Uh, so we'll cut to that right now. <laughs> Come on, he's coming. What? Can't you see I'm kind of busy right now? Get back here, Brian. Dude, there's a fucking guy who's trying to kill me right now. I need a weapon. I need anything you got. Anything at all. Lancer. I'll take it. 
What the hell do you need a Lancer for? That was such a great clip. I'm so happy we could cut to that. I needed a moment to rest my voice. I was, I've was i been talking for nearly two hours straight. But that clip, how nostalgic, nine years ago, in the rain, filming that. And that was just completely insane. That was just complete insanity. And we filmed that all night. And it th that's one of my, when I look back now, it's like I get really nostalgic about the old days and that. That, those little clips that we did and for the Halloween specials, it's just so amazing. I, I really like to get back to doing skits like that and things like that. Though Those were the, some of the most fun I ever have had on the show. I do have something coming up at the end of the month that I'm trying to assemble right now. That's all I'll say. I don't want to ruin it. But this it's, it's kind of funny uh, to say the least. Okay, and let's get back to some questions here. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, low look. Uh, your story about when you quit smoking was one of the uh, the factors that helped me get off uh, it. I'm still using a vape, but uh, the lingering smell uh, isn't on me anymore. Thank you for all the, the other games and anime as well. Uh, you know, glad you still are here. Uh, thank you, and, and I'm so happy. You know, here's the thing. If you smoke cigarettes out there, smoke cigarettes. But if you're thinking about quitting uh, smoking and you need some inspiration, I said it earlier on, go back, watch my very first couple of videos, look at how I look, look how I look now. I'm older, I'm, actu I'm actually 10 years older now. Wow, like look at the difference. I look way healthier now than I did then. So take that as an inspiration. I was one of the most nicest things that ever happened to me at a convention. I was at a convention and this guy came up to me and he's like, he grabbed my hand to shake my hand and he's like, and he said, he said, John, he says, I need to quit smoking so badly. I need to quit so bad. And I shook his hand. And it's like one of those, you know, you get these kind of moments with human beings and you, this kind of thing you get with reality. And he's like, I, I really, I'm, I'm so trying hard. He's like, you you know, he's like, your video has really inspired me to quit. And I was shaking his hand. I'm like, dude, you can do it. And I, I get kind of shivers from that moment. I mean, I remember him looking at me and the, the, the desperation of trying to quit and how hard it is, I really related. I remember what that was like. So, uh, you know, if you have quit out there, that's amazing. I, there's so many people watch that quitting smoking video. And that's not even a video gaming related video, which is amazing. Thank you. Uh, Bruno uh, Aleves90 says, Hope you're having a good day. I've been a fan of your channel for quite a few years. I have to say that it's simply one of the most genuine channels out there. It's always a pure joy to see you. Passionately talk about video games. Uh, cheers from Portugal. Thank you. Uh, Portugal, thank you so much. I, I do appreciate it. And I thank all of you all over the world that are watching. It's how far we've come with technology. You understand, I'm an 80s, 90s kid. This kind of stuff would be like Star Trek. I'm sitting here, you know, like Jean-Luc Picard here. Like, this is freaking ridiculous. Uh, so and we have uh, Attention Chris, my friend, my good friend from Scotland. Dude, please, please uh, play the game uh, Super Seducer with Kim. It's a ridiculous, cringy, full motion uh, video uh, pickup artist simulator. You know what? I think I've heard about this game. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think Kim already played that game with me, you know, <laughs> when we were first dating uh, and all that kinds of stuff. So I think we've already played that game. But no, uh, I think that's probably on Steam or something like that, is it? Yeah, I've heard about that. But thank you, Chris. Um, and this is from MR Servio. And uh, it says, thanks for all the years of content and the movie. 
What is your favorite obscure NES game outside of the obvious Zelda, Mario, of course. Yes, fuck those. Uh, those are so obvious. Everybody mentions those. I've got it. See, this is this is how much I'm into this hobby. Tombs and Treasure. Rob did a review nearly nine years ago of a game that we grew up with that nobody knew what the hell it was. It's like a, a puzzle RPG game that was fucking mental. It was mental how to figure your way to get through this game. I don't, I never figured it out. Rob figured it out. So I said, hey, you gotta come on and do a review on it because I, you know, I had the game as a child, uh, as a younger guy, and I sold it to Rob because I didn't understand it. I didn't know, I couldn't get anywhere with it. And Rob played it, he was just absolutely amazing with it. So, Tombs and Treasure, that's a great old game, uh, for sure. Um, uh, Tech Therapy says, $10, thank you. Hey Johnny, long time no see. Just had to drop, uh, bo drop a, a message uh, and a small donation. Keep up the, the great work. Uh, uh, oh wait, keep it up uh, in the voice of HR Giger. Oh, I, 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 that's so funny. Hope you see uh, CC on Skype sometime soon. I know who, exactly who this is. This is Ronald. So Ronald was a big supporter of the show we used to talk about on Skype a lot. And I'd always say that he sounded like HR Giger from, you know, the Alien franchise, because he'd always talk like this. I, I, I live in the darkness. It's a very, it's a very sky, scary night tonight. And I was always bugging him. I said, please say these lines for me. Like H.R. Giger would say, you know, that's so fun. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Ronald. It's, it's awesome to see you here. Uh, S. Squirrel, $2. Uh, congrats on 10 years. Hi from England. PC Engine for life. Shout out to Luke Moore's one. Yeah, the, thank you for reminding me about another really great uh, older YouTuber who was there right in the beginning. I'm I'm sorry that I forgot to mention him. I there's so many sh uh, thank yous to say. Luke Moore's one, you know, plug that in, play that some of that. He's one of the most classic guys on YouTube. For any of you who don't know, who just kind of got into YouTube in the last few years, Luke Moore's was an originator. He's one of the original guys uh, back in the day where he just. Put a game in, and he lived in Japan, and he just played a game. It was, it was amazing. I know it sounds, it was so, uh, it's so like like stereotypical now to do that, but it was fresh back then. YouTube ten years ago was very different than what it is now, and I, I like YouTube now, and I try to. I hope you guys have appreciated. I've always tried to keep upping the technology of the show and upping everything that we do here uh, to keep it up to date and to keep relevant. Uh, and all of that, and to keep, uh, yeah, you know, and I, I do a lot of studying about games, and I, I just, yeah, I love this hobby, for sure. Um, Paul John Holt says, uh, $20 tip, thank you. Paul, it's amazing. I love your Final Fantasy reminiscing video, brought back uh, some fond memories, I, I, I you know, I, I, from 10 years ago in my life as well. Keep making the awesome videos. Thank you from the UK. UK represents, I'm, I'm, I'm a UK person at heart. You know, I love Canada, I love America, I love the UK. In fact, I even love, I love Australia, I love everywhere around the world. I think there's something positive that can be found in every single country out there. You know, like, I got family in Australia as well. X Danger Reaper, uh, Reapers X says, $5. Hey, Millennium, you have opened my eyes to many cool RPGs. I was uh, oblivious to, uh, you know, such as Ease and Dragon Quest. Thank you. Good luck in the future. Thank you. And yeah, I, I really try to represent Dragon Quest around here as well. Dragon Quest is one of my big series and it was something that I really, me and Kim love it to death. Like it's kind of a bit of a religion here for us. And uh, I'm gonna take a moment to give out another code. Yeah. Get your 3DS ready, 3DSs ready. Uh, this is for uh, obviously the 3DS. Yeah. Uh, it is Dragon Ball Fusions. Uh, this is by Bandai Namco. Wanna thank them. And uh, yeah, this uh, this is a huge one for them, uh, guys. If you're gonna give me two minutes, yeah. I'm gonna go take get some more water here, bathroom break, and I'll be back in probably about four minutes. Okay. So um, yeah, just we'll keep the stream going. Everybody will know I'm back. It's all good. Oh my god, my legs! No, I'm kidding. I'm back.
I love you guys. I'm here. <laughs> Dragon Ball codes, two of them going up. And three, two, one. <laughs> John's just getting some tea. His English side is coming out, guys. This is what you're doing to him. <laughs> John is on his way back, guys. We're just <laughs> they're like, I like, show yourself there. <laughs> yeah, you, did you put your I hand did. in? I did. I did. I came in there. Uh, a split second. I had to refresh my uh, my tea here, and just have a moment uh, break, like. Got the lights on me here, and we've been doing a lot here. We were handing out codes. We're giving thank yous to all you guys. Trying to talk about the early days of YouTube. There's a lot of stuff to kind of get through. I'm wondering, was there any other... Um, I think we did all the clips we wanted to show, didn't we? Oh, uh, we still have Kim. Let's oh, yeah. I'll, I'll save that. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for a little bit. Yeah. Let me just... Go back, so just so you guys know, I think Bear's already said it, but we put up Dragon Ball Fusion's 3DS codes yeah. up on Twitter. So grab those. Uh, well, we're gonna do one more set of games to give away, and then I'll get back to the chat here and we'll get back to everything. So this is, um, this is an interesting one. This is on the Nintendo Switch, One Piece Unlimited World Red. And we have two of these codes, so we can put them both up at the same time. This is a game I have not played. I. I don't really follow the series, uh, the anime series, because there's so many episodes. I, I don't even think I could get through it. I, I'm having a hard enough time keeping up with Dragon Ball Super. We're up to date. Uh, hey, did that episode of Dragon Ball Super go up yet? Yes, yesterday it was up. Crunchyroll was down last night, yeah. and I was like, what is going on? I need my new Super episode. And we couldn't get it, so we were frustrated. We laughed, so I can't wait to, to check that out. Do you want to put in another Toad right now? Sorry, is that what you mentioned? Uh, yeah, we're going to put up a... Did, did you hear that one? Sorry, what was that one? One Piece Unlimited so World Red. On, it's on the Nintendo Switch. Both of them. Put them both up, yeah. Okay. Two Switch codes. Okay. Two Switch codes, yeah. We're trying to represent all the systems here. We've handed out, let's have a look here, guys. This is amazing. We've handed out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 games we've handed out so far. We're getting through this. We're doing, do, doing well. I love the power glove. Oh, no. Johnny and technology. Did this die? No, I think it's good. Is it? Yeah? I think it's good. Oh, you get it? All is okay. Oh, it's good, eh? Yeah. You want to refresh me there, too? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, my God, we've been going for a while here. It's, it's, again, big thank you. It's amazing. Come a long way since the 1,000 subscriber special. Yep. <laughs> oh, my. It's just a little bit. And uh, we've done a lot of things on the show here. Like, it's so all the Halloween specials, 700-plus episodes. We did a movie of the show. For anybody who doesn't know, who's watching right now, I say a movie. We made a movie of the show. Of you know, a kind of an offshoot thing, and we put it on YouTube for free for everybody because we thought that was the best way to go. I thought that was the best way to go for the movie, and I mean, that was the busiest I've ever been in life making that movie, doing a weekly show, doing the all gen gamers, then getting married to Kim. That was a lot of stuff to do, and that movie took me three years to make, and I edited the entire thing together, and I was in it. I was the main guy in it, and I had to I had to set up all the cameras. It was a nightmare. I'll never, never do that. But uh, again, that was just too insane. Let's try to get to some more questions. Oh my God. Um, whoa, oh, there's so many questions. Proxy here's. Uh, Phoenix uh, uh, says here's hoping to seeing you in Phoenix again. If the the temperature. Uh, scared you away, I understand. Yeah, when I was in down in Phoenix, Arizona, I've never felt weather like that in my life. I remember it was me and Alpha Mega Sand. We we're leaving the hotel. We had to walk three minutes over to the convention center. It was so hot that we you could have cracked an egg and cooked it on the sidewalk. It was so... I, I mean, 
it was it was scary stuff out there. So maybe I, Gamester invited me down to Arizona. I said maybe, but probably not this time. Late gets a ten dollar tip. Thank you. Uh, Dominic Turner says thank you for talking about Final Fantasy XI. Also suffered from the addiction. Glad to know I wasn't the only one. Hey, when we were on Final Fantasy XI, we <laughs> everyone everybody we were playing with, we were all addicts, and we would all be saying to each other, "Hey, I'm quitting next week. It's all over next week. It's all over. And tomorrow it's over." And the next week would come, and we'd still be there, and we'd still be there. It was like it was kind of in insane. So I, I feel for you as well. We all feel each other together in that one. Uh, Steel Angel Vicky says, and she's from the UK, I missed the first um, few years, uh, so if you could do 10 more, that would be great. Oh, and if you had to pick a manga anime to, to be made into a CGI movie by Digital Frontier, like Captain Harlock, what would you compose? Uh, okay, here's the thing, and I don't mean this in a bad way, Manga and anime, sometimes getting the CG treatment, like Captain Harlock, is gave me the heebie-jeebies. Like, Captain Harlock in CG was not for me at all. But I th wonder if there could be some animes that could benefit from that. You know, I just... There's a, there's a lot of older animes that could benefit if it was done correctly. I, just, I, guess, I guess, like, some... Uh, oh, my God. All my animes up here. Imagine, like, a CG show of Evangelion. I don't know. I don't know. I need something more, you know, there's like the, obviously the Gundams and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, like Pat Labor and stuff. I would rather live action versions of those show of those shows. So I'd love to see a Pat Labor live action show. Trigun live action. Imagine Evangelion live action. That would mess with our head. The, imagine you get to the end of that movie. You'd be totally fucked. You know, when they go to the whole ending bit of that. So, uh, but thank you for the question. Napkins. 27 uh, dollar tip. Thank you. Congrats on 10 years. Only been watching for a few years. You're my favorite YouTuber. Can we get more Kim videos? As a fellow female, I'd like to know what games she liked and uh, when she was, oh, you know, what she was playing when she was younger. You know, it's, here's something. Here's a forgotten episode of the show that never went up. I had Kim and two other girls on the show. They're friends of Kim. And they talked about like their video game memories. And I thought it was good. But it was like, it had a weird flow to it. And so I didn't put it up. And I, I don't have the episode anymore. This is a few years ago. But Kim's on an episode with me in the morning that I will have to edit later on tonight. But uh, yeah, no, I love having Kim on the show. Kim's getting a little bit more confidence. She, you know, she's in the other room right now. She feels kind of like, you know, like she, she just like, says, do your own thing. Do your thing and all of that. But here, here's something. I'll let you in a little secret. When me and Kim are about to sit down to do an episode. She's standing right here. I'm fucking burping like crazy here. <laughs> Get some water. There we go. I can tell this story normally now. But we stand up. So this is us standing. We grab each other's shoulders and we jump up and down and laugh hysterically and, and say the stupidest things that come out of our mouths. I was like, blah, 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 and go absolutely this. And then what happens, we sit down and you're automatically in a funny mood. You're automatically in a good mood. And so that is our little strategy that we use to come here to kind of, because you, you, you know, coming in sometimes cold into a video, you're like, hey, you know, sometimes you can be, you kind of get a little, get warmed up and great way to warm up. You sit in front of the camera, you're automatically laughing. And that's what you want to do for sure. So yeah, for sure. There's more of everybody in the future. I want more Rob in the future. I want more Kim. I want more Bear. I want more Victor Lucas. I want everybody on the show. And I really want to keep exploring video games like we have. It's been amazing. Uh, this is from Alistair. What's your favorite bands? You never talk about non-movie game music. Would be cool to get an episode uh, on that kind of stuff. Fingers crossed for Wizard. Um... I'll say from my early days. Uh, is there anything up? No. Oh, yeah, okay. I say from my early days, for music, like I grew up with punk rock music. And I think I liked it so much because my parents didn't want me listening to it. I remember my parents went to get me my very first CD. I asked for Sex Pistols. And they came back and they're like, oh, no, the guy talked us out of it. I want to murder that man now who tried to sell that to them. Like, get the hell out of here. What are you telling them no? <laughs> oh, no, your son probably wouldn't like that. But they got me another album which I really loved, which was U2, uh, Ryle and Hum, and I became a big YouTube, uh, YouTube fan. But also, I got my punk rock music, Dead Kennedys, 
No Means No, Love No Means No, one of the best old school punk bands. Go check out No Means No, like, uh, I think, like, check out No Means No, Oh No, Bruno. <laughs> yeah, and, and DOA, I remember going to see DOA back in, like, 1989. Great stuff. Really great stuff. So, um, Fat Fragger says, um, it leaves a tip of $24, thank you. I don't comment often, but after seven years of watching you and entertaining me so much and also getting me through a lot of tough times, especially now, I just wanted to say thank you. P.S. Also, thank you for getting me interested in watching uh, movies. Well, that's that's great. And I, it's funny, I do get a lot of messages from people that uh, we're all at different places in our lives. We all are. I've been in places where I've been very down in my life. Uh, especially just before I started the show, I was in a very weird spot being a smoker, being like 28 years old, you know. That 28 years old is the one that resonates for me the most. I was very depressed. Uh, and not like like depression, ongoing depression. I was just kind of bummed out by the way my life was going. Things hadn't worked out quite the way I'd hoped. And I sat down here. I'm going to tell you a story. I'll tell you a really weird story. I sat in this room when I was 28 and this is when I was playing Final Fantasy XI and I kind of lost my job. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I was a smoker. And go figure I did this. And I've never showed this video in a million years. I had a camcorder and I set it up and I was smoking here and I was having a beer. And I was working this. I just got this job working this not great job in a warehouse. It wasn't very good. And uh, I was just like, what, what's happened to me? What, what is my life come to? I didn't have any money. I didn't have anything. Was, life was shit. And uh, I, I filmed myself, and this was very therapeutic for me. I had a camera, I set it up, and I talked to the camera, like I'm talking right now, about my life not going the direction that I wanted it to. And I didn't know, I had all these stories and things I had done in my life, and I wanted to make something out of it. And I really didn't know what to do with it all. I didn't know where to go with it. And, and I, I was a smoker and I hated being a smoker and I was, I think I was only on my second beer and I hated that I'm drinking and I was just such a, I was such a gross person, I felt. I felt so skinny and I had the bandana on and I was thin and I just, self-loathing. And I just, I just was like, this is not what I want. And it's really wild, you know, from 20, I'm 44 now. But now I just, I, I married the greatest girl ever. I'm so lucky, I'm so thrilled. And uh, we live a really great life together, me and her. And, you know, if anybody said to me, John, would you pick YouTube or, you know, your wife? Dude, I would, I would take my wife on, over anything in this world, over any video game in this world. I, what we have together is so uh, meaningful and emotional. And I can't tell you how much it, it means to me to have Kim in my life. And, uh, yeah, I... Went on to a big thing there, but yeah, I, sorry, I, I, we're all in different places in our lives, but no, one thing, you can make life get better. You can do it. And people will be against you, and people will, you know, nobody's there to help you but yourself. Believe in yourself, and you can do anything. You can really do anything. And I really, I'm not, I'm not fucking horse, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you know, candy coating anything. You really can change your life around. I think I'm a representation of that. I really am a representation of that. So uh, stay strong, anybody out there who is battling depression. And uh, that's another thing. A lot of my friends are battling depression. I got a lot of friends that have it. And it's something that I don't understand on their levels, but I know it's a real thing. And it's something that is very real for a lot of people out there. And a lot more people have it these days than ever before. I don't know if it's the world and the pressures that we all feel, but we definitely, yeah. But anyways, I'm moving on. <laughs> Um, congrats, uh, this is from Tia, uh, $3 tip. Congratulations on 10 years, mate. Uh, you often talk about your love for, towards Street Fighter, but I always wondered, what are your thoughts on third, uh, third fighting games like, like Tekken and Soul, Soul Calibur and stuff? It's very funny that you say that. And by the way, big shout out to Baruti, he oh, says here. Oh, yeah, he, Baruti's doing all the work. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> really. You're, Everyone's like, talking about how much of a good speaker you are right oh, now, John. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's why. Hey, I, I never used to be able to speak like that. I'm also the guy in high school where I get up and I'm like, uh, guys, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's public speaking. I never wanted to do it. I never wanted to do public speaking. And I think... 
I think it was one of those things that I needed. It was one of those things I feared so much that I wanted to, to get better at it. And I talked to some really good public speakers about, oh God, maybe about seven, eight years ago. I said, I went up to them and I said, how do you get better at public speaking? And they're like, you just do it a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's okay to fail. And so I realized my show is a great example of being able to fail. Mm -hmm. The beginning to now, not starting with the best equipment, not starting with the best lighting, not being the best presenter, not being the best at anything, not being the best editor, not, you know, I used to film my TV to get footage because I didn't have any capture devices. That's the early days of, of YouTube. Go back and watch the very th first three, four episodes. My fantasy star footage in my first review is all from back then. It's very, very funny. So, yes, it's it's crazy. But So thank you for that compliment. I It's something I did overcome for sure. And we got village hidden in the pubes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is probably the, the most craziest name. Village hidden. Hidden within the pubes. I love the name. It's so funny. Johnny, great job. Always uh, such sweet and beautiful boy. <laughs> Thank you for making uh, these uh, videos for a long time. Question, uh, what, are you, what are some games you wanted as a child and never got? Well, it's funny that you say that. I've done so many episodes on, on all of that. It was, you know the big one for me was Final Fantasy II, which is Final Fantasy IV in Japan. I never got that. When it, I got my friend Andrew's sloppy second from down the road, I never got my own copy till years later. And the copy that I still have is really munched up, but it's my copy. I got it from a, a blockbuster for like 20 bucks. Uh, love your name, by the way. Thank you for the tip. Whoa. Jimmy, $1. Hey, John, you are the best. Are you a fan of Star Fox from Nintendo? It's one of my favorites. Uh, keep up the good work. Obviously. Yeah. We used to skip school, go across the road and play Star Fox. Loved it. It's super. Got lots of memories. I could do an entire episode on Star Fox. Uh, uh, Dezusus says, $10 tip. Congratulations uh, from Mexico. I never miss a video. Love them. Keep up the good work. Thank you to Mexico as well. Thank you so very much. I, You know, being in Canada here, it's it's so weird for us being Canadians and hearing about walls getting made and all this stuff, you know, and keep Mexico out. I was like, I, I don't, everybody and everybody I've ever met from Mexico was fucking amazing. Yeah. I don't I don't understand. We're Canadians, so please forgive us for our ignorance. <laughs> um, the modern uh, let's see, no, I'm going one up. Uh, Tikimoto says uh, five dollar tip. Thank you for for Mo uh, Mobius. Oh, for for, thank you for Mobius, the Inkle, and uh, Vindel Saga. Uh, Vindel Saga. Uh, do you do more cartoons and all that? Thank you, first of all. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Mobius and the Inkle. I'm reading it in the other room right now. I've finally gotten around to really taking it in, and it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, we're way behind. I'm way behind, aren't I? What time is it now, Bear? We are at 3.08. Pacific okay, time. I'm catching up a little bit, I think. A little bit. If you refresh, though, you've got a whole other onslaught. Okay. GMT, a uh, $5 tip. What's the most you have ever paid for a video game, John? My, uh, and uh, was it worth it? Dynamite Ducks, $80 <laughs> Canadian. And then we're talking back in 1989? Not worth it. That was an easy one. Uh, long hair. Love your show. Thank you from a short hair. Let's uh, refresh here. And... Um, Oh, let's let's just hand out a couple more codes to you guys yeah. here. Uh, we only have a few left, and we're, we're we've handed out a lot of the most amazing codes. So I don't want anybody complaining. And uh, these are just free for anybody who doesn't have these. This might be a really great thing. Uh, Tales of Bessaria. This is a Steam code, and I have two of these. It's by Bandai Namco, and it's going up uh, in the next little bit. It's going to go up on Twitter. And these are all North American codes, folks. I, I said I would really, in the future, like to support Europe with some European codes. Both I, codes, John? Oh, let's just put both codes up for right. sure. Uh, and so these are JPEGs, and you have to enter them in. And oh my God, let's just get back to what? What time are we at, Bear? We're at. I'm getting caught up, actually. Perfect. We we're so still, still three ten right now, but we've been streaming for about two hours. Wow, wonderful. Okay, let's do a question here. Uh, Leon F. Uh, Fox, not sure if you saw, thank you thank you for the dollar tip, it's earlier, but uh, would you ever uh, consider doing a video on the Yakuza series? 
love the show and your dynamic uh, uh, dynamic with Rob. Uh, you, absolutely. Uh, the thing is, is about that series, that is one that Victor Lucas has covered a lot and that Alpha Mega Sin has covered a lot. I'm not a huge expert on the series. I like it. I am um, somebody who's like kind of sits back as a fan and I appreciate, but I don't have enough raw knowledge to come in front of a camera and talk about it. I wouldn't have enough to say about it, but I'm always interested in playing future games. Uh, this is from Tom, $5. Hi, Johnny. You helped me with uh, an, uh, an, an, an assign. Oh, an assign. You know what's so bad is, is there any way to, to get this chip? Like, it's scrunching out all. I'm having to read very... Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, it's breaking them up. Like, I have to read yeah. like this. So it's breaking up words. So we're just going to get this sorted out and, 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 and make it so. <sighs> Thank you for coming for 10 years. It's, it's just incredible. It's just really incredible. You know what we can do while we sort this out? Yep. Uh, put that down for a sec. Cut into, we're gonna cut to a clip of Kim. Yeah. Right now. This is Kim um, playing a playing game. Oh, God, I can't, I can't hardly remember the game now. This is a few years back. Where Kim gets really scared and I do not, for the record, well, maybe I do. You, you decide. This is a really funny little clip. Kim, Kim will be in the other room going, what the fuck? You're putting up this clip and all of that. So. Uh, are you ready to put it up? Yeah, we're ready to go. Uh, throw it up right now. The pre-cum of the rat about to hit us. Okay, go stand in front of the fireplace. Feeling a little cold? Mm. The room probably changed. <laughs> oh, get out! Don't do that! You jumped at me! Don't you do it! You jumped at me! Don't do it! What the fuck? What was that thing? It was just all the, it looked like all the um, furniture was all together and it came at us. Was that what it was? Maybe. It was what it scared me. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Is that like a robot? <laughs> that was great. I was not expecting that. That was great. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this again to see what a reaction really was. <laughs> I can see my face yeah. like this. Oh, get out! Don't do that! You jumped at me! Don't you do You jumped it. at me! That's it. <laughs> That's a funny clip with Kim. That's one of those ones where I'll be an old man. I'll be sitting in bed and I'll be like, ah, I remember that time you got it. You know, scared by that video game. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a lot of fun, and thank him for coming on doing that episode. And yeah, I got scared too. I'll admit it. I will finally admit it. I got. I was. I was scared how much Kim was scared. It freaked the hell out of me. I didn't see anything like that coming. So, uh, the great thing is we're getting caught up here, uh, a lot with the chat here. Um, this is a one dollar tip from random dude. I think you'd be really good at game streaming. Your last plays were kind of uh, stiff, but the way you approach them would make you a better streamer than uh, a let's player, I think. Will you play anything on stream today? I won't play to anything on stream today. The reason why, this was to make sure that we got all of this working. This is a huge experiment. We've never done this before. It's a brand new thing to do, and it's just... Yeah, we're testing out the technology. We do believe in the future that we will be able to do video games. And yeah, I don't even know if I'm a streaming type of guy. You know, I'd rather have like Rob on here playing a game and I'm talking. You know, I think I could do that. That would work quite well. So I'm really bad at playing a video game and talking. It's really, it like bears phenomenal at it, <laughs> but it is an art form. And let, don't let anybody fool you. It's an art form to be doing well in a game, but talking to a chat. I mean, that's not, that's not easy to do. Yeah, right. That's not easy to do. And, you know, but I will try it. I will we'll try You'll some different things. You'll be good at it, John. You'll get yeah, good. I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure. Uh, so, uh, DJ... Uh, this looks a lot better, by the way. I'll just call him DJ. Uh, love your show. Been watching for years. What's your favorite change that you have noticed in the current video game generation? Big change. Okay, I know what it is. The, one of the big changes that I love in video games that's really changed in the last few years that I really enjoy, I really appreciate... <laughs> is open world games. I played enough RPGs where I didn't have a lot of freedom. We're talking back in the old days. 
Like a fantasy show did offer you some freedom, which was really nice, but there's some other RPGs that you could only really... Like Dragon Warrior. It's got a bit of freedom, but it's you're always going in a certain direction. I love open, sandbox worlds. I I love exploring. I love I love how it's kind of gotten into everything, even into Metal Gear Solid Five now. Love that. It's just... Uh, I love exploring these worlds. I don't know. There's something about it. I think when I was younger, what got me into video games was escapism. I wanted an escape from my life. I wanted an escape from the stresses in my life. Video games were an escape for me. And I could play a game and not really be in my living room, not dealing with homework that needs to be done. And I could just have a bit of fun. And I kind of got like really lost into those kind of worlds. And I, the more that games have opened up, I was like, man, this is exactly what I really wanted as a kid. But the problem is if I was 14 years old with some of these games now, you never, my family would have never seen me again. <laughs> I mean, because like back then, I could, you could finish a game 20 to 40 hours, where now some of these games are like 140 hours of gameplay, and it's like, I'll never see my son again. <laughs> yeah, like, especially with a lot of the, the, the really cool uh, big games that are coming out. Nino Kune is quite a huge game. Uh, Ni. Ni, Nino Kune! <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's so funny that I'm just refreshing if there's anything more. We're getting, finally getting caught up with the chat. Uh, a little bit, which is uh, really amazing. Oh, as soon as I said that, oh boy, as soon as I said that, where am I at? Another chance. Um, okay, uh, this is from um, MXT87. I uh, discovered your channel earlier this year and it helped me get through a tough time. Uh, personally, I want to drop you a donation and say thanks. Keep up the great work. Do you think there will uh, be or should be a proper Fantasy Star sequel or reboot? That's a great question, and I do have, I, I actually have a great answer because I, Fantasy Star is everything that I, you know, it's one of my favorite games. There was a remake on PS2 years, you know, years ago in one of the collections here, and it wasn't very good. In fact, I, I absolutely hated it. They remade all of them, and I just, I just didn't like them at all. I thought they were cheap cash-in games. They didn't honor the original games, and they really kind of frustrated me this kind of presentation was not a fan at all. Like what I thought, and I said it years ago, I thought there would be a sequel on the 3DS for Fantasy Star, like Fantasy Star 5 on the 3DS. It would be something that I thought may have happened, but now that it hasn't happened, I know that Fantasy Star is eternally dead it, over here in the West. They're getting Fantasy Star Online 2 in Japan. It's on every system in Japan, but it's not over here. We're very... People keep asking me, what do you think? It's on the Nintendo Switch. And it's like, well, yeah, in Japan. It's not over here. And I Sega's forgotten about the one-player game now. It's it's a forgotten history, and I'm really, really sad to see it kind of forgotten and all that. But love to have seen, I would love to have seen a sequel. Can you believe? I've been doing this show for 10 years, and we have no sequel to Fantasy Star 4. I mean, I haven't done anything on this show if I haven't accomplished that. Um, retro for the first time. $5 tip. Thank you. Johnny, you're the reason I started my channel. One year anniversary for me. Happy 10 years for you. Keep it up. Here's something I want to say. You're saying you're, you know, you've been doing your channel for a year. Don't give up. Stay focused. Keep the enthusiasm. I know how frustrating it is for new channels starting up now. A lot of them get frustrated. I mean, it, it, I get frustrated. I get so many people asking me, how do I make my channel bigger? And how do I make it better? And how do I get more views? And I'm like, I don't know. I never had the equipment the equation in front of me, uh, you know, what I've always said is just talk about things that are passionate for you. Don't worry about what's the big hot item. Think about, do something unique and do something, you know, that's never been done. There's so much to do. Don't think it's all been done because it hasn't been. Not everything has been done out there in YouTube land. I, I see an open uh, field there for brand new shows to, uh, for, for brand new video game shows to be relevant, exciting, and brand new. Uh, that have never been done before. I just you just have to look within, look within yourself, and say I I want to do something different. You know, I think that's the main thing. So congrats on one year for yourself. Um, Blade Blur, two dollar tip. Congratulations on ten years of Happy Guns Gamer. Also, uh, wanted to say good job on your work with Victor Lucas. Thank you so much. As I say, he's a huge inspiration for me. I grew up watching Victor Lucas. He's a huge inspiration for most of us out there. He's absolutely incredible. And he's still, he's still got more energy than I'll ever have. You think I got a lot of energy. It ain't nothing for him. I remember there was one day, 
<laughs> we had been playing so many games, watching so many movies, and we spent one day doing, we did five reviews out in the tree, you know, in forests, in the city, all over the place. And we did five reviews in one day out there. And I was so exhausted at the end of the day. And we're coming back. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, that is exhausting. I said, how many is the most reviews you've ever done in a day? He's like, nine. I'm like, nine. I'm like, nine? I'm like, I got no reason to complain. I got no reason to complain at all. He's a definite inspiration. For sure. Um, X Blitzer X says, hey, happy Comics Gamer. Thanks for the years of great content. Have you ever played The Guardian Legend on NES? It has an amazing soundtrack. I absolutely know the game. It does have an amazing soundtrack. and It is really a great game. And oh my God, $20 tip. Thank you. Unbelievable. Um, Leon K. Fox says, uh, $1 tip. Me again. Thanks for answering my last question. Have you ever seen the Disney um, Zootopia? Uh, what did you think of it? Am I? What, what is that? Disney's Utopia? Never watched Utopia? It's the one with the, the bunny girl. She's a cop. A uh, oh. Character. No, I, I'm so... I absolutely have yeah. no you idea. Have, you have to see it, actually. It's a very good movie. Is it an... An, is it it's an animated. 3D animated movie. 3D animated, like American style film? Yeah, yeah. yeah hmm. Just like, you know, their usual 3D Disney Pixar film. I have not seen it, but I would absolutely yeah. be interested in it. For sure. Um, we're getting fresh, getting caught up, and I can just... Do a few more codes and then we'll start to bring this down a little bit, I think. Cause what time is oh my god, we've been going for two hours and twenty minutes? Yep. Wow. Thank you so much. How many people are here? Right now we have eighteen hundred and sixty five. Wow. Eighteen hundred people watching. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my stupid ass on a Sunday. As I say, not literally, but me here. Thank you. Um uh, Van Bur uh Van Burn twenty. Uh, Two dollar tip. Thank you so much. Uh, keep up the great work, Johnny, and thanks for uh, taking the time to comment on my videos every once in a while. Yes, I uh, um, Van Buren. Uh, I, I absolutely know you, and I have watched your videos quite a few times. I, I, I always try to go in and support up and coming smaller channels that have you know under a thousand subscribers or plus, or you know, and some channels have grown beyond that now that I commented on. But it's very important. And you won't see this out there for bigger channels to support smaller channels. And everybody is so in the YouTube space is so involved in their own stuff. They, they're just so involved in themselves. And I, this YouTube was supposed to be about you. It's supposed to, and it's supposed to be about, I have always on my channel done shout outs and plugs and tried to tell, you know, tell people about smaller YouTubers. And I have a list of smaller YouTubers that I am going to, uh, talk about on a future episode and I think it's not only for me to do it's for all of you guys to do that have YouTube shows if you have a YouTube show take a moment to shout out a channel with 400 subscribers or less do that take the time to do that uh, it really it does the world for somebody who's just starting out this stream is about me starting 10 years ago and having 30 to 60 subscribers, getting my mom and sister to subscribe. Really, and I was like, oh my God, I have 100 subscribers. Okay. I, I was so thrilled. And we should be giving that energy to the next generation because you never know who the next generation is. Hey, you wanna hear a great story? I'll tell you a great story about reaching out to smaller YouTubers and, you know, and answering people and trying to do the best you can. You can only do the best you can. I got a message and I still, I don't remember getting this message. Back maybe nine years ago, from a small channel called Alpha Mega Sin, had written to me and said, "Hey, I'm thinking about starting a channel. Uh, you know, should I go for it? You know, like type of thing." I'm like, "Yeah, absolutely. Believe in yourself. Go for it." I didn't know who, I didn't know who uh, Alpha was. Nobody did. And then all of a sudden, boom! Years later, he just exploded onto YouTube. And let me say for him, where's Alpha? He's taking a bit of a break. He's still doing live streams. He's not anywhere. He's not gone anywhere. He's setting up. His game room, he's getting it all reconfigured and ready to go. And Alpha's going to be coming back with a vengeance for sure. But look, it's, it's very important because you never know who you're going to talk to out there. You know, I didn't say, oh, dude, I don't have time for you. You know, like I took the time because he asked a legit question. And I'm sorry for all of you who have written to me that I can't get back to. It is nearly impossible now. But I'm saying for any of you, try to respond back to people. And, and all that, that's a great example. Look at where Alpha went. That's so incredible, isn't it? It really is. I think um, we, we gave out the tales of Berseria codes, didn't we, the last one? Yes, we did. That, um, 
We're down to the, the last low tier uh, c codes going on here. Nothing's low tier. Nothing's low tier when it's for free. But um, it was Ben and Namco that gave so me these bad. games. And uh, we handed out all the amazingly good games earlier on. Uh, Chroma Squad, PS4. We got two of those. We'll yeah. throw that on Twitter. It's it's some free stuff. I've not played the games myself, so I, I'm not a hater. I'm just a not-knower of what they are type of thing. And uh, some more questions here. Whoa. Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, Johnny says, uh, Johnny, your positivity and passion for games got me out of a gaming depression about six years ago. I totally stopped playing games for a few years and discovered you, your enthusiasm. Made me realize I've been looking at things too cynically. Wish you the best. Hey, let me say, if you can get to, thank you for the tip, if you can get to 44 years old, and you can still find the love and passion and excitement of things, that is the trick to life. Try to find passion and excitement in your life no matter what it is. In people, friends, whatever, you know, material oh, objects, you, you know, your hamster. Just put some passion into something. Try to get something out of it for sure. Whoa. Um, uh, the, the last uh, Game Hunter writes, thank you. You're fun to watch and you have passion. Thank you. It really means a lot. And... Uh, uh, Chozo Knight, $25 tip. Wow. Congrats on 10 years. Love your work here and on Film Fury. One thing that drew me to your channel was your passion of Dragon Quest. Can't wait for your final thoughts on Dragon Quest XI later this year uh, when it releases in the West. I, I'm with you 100%. We're all, Kim said to me last week, she's like, when is Dragon Quest XI coming out? I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, it's like, I don't know. Maybe they'll announce it at E3. Maybe they'll have a surprise announcement. I talked to some people over at Square Enix, but they won't tell me that. You know, the company secrets are company secrets. But that would be... I can't wait for that game to come out as well. You know, my first thoughts were, this game is awesome. I can see it live now. You know, it feels so good to be able to do this on the live stream and say that, you know, everything I talk about, everything I say in my videos is legit. Dragon Quest XI is amazing. Uh, this is Lilia. Uh, $5 tip. Johnny. A uh, question, Johnny. What the hell is Gracie Law doing here? Big Trouble in Little China. I, I saw uh, Big Trouble in Little China quote. Oh, God. Uh, thank you for that one. And what the hell is Gracie Law doing here? You have to do it like that. I absolutely love Big Trouble in Little China. I know every single quote from it. Oh, my God. That, that, that made me smile. That's really funny. Uh, Blade Blur says, I find it incredibly nice that it doesn't matter how many subs you have. You are very um, supportive of other channels like you did with Game Dave. I think 11k subscribers myself uh, and my channels is, isn't doing the best, but you give me uh, give me hope. Thank you uh, for being great. Well, thank you. And so Blade Blur, I'll just say, just man, I I I really feel for you, and I really feel for everybody else with smaller channels, making a video, working on it, doing all the work behind the scenes, putting it up. And you're like, where's the views? Why is this video not taking off? I, I, I can't say perseverance. Just keep at it. Keep at it. Don't let people get you down. Don't let comments saying, I've been called every name in the book. I Nothing bothers me anymore. I've been called everything. I mean, for like 10 years? Could you imagine doing uh, YouTube for 10 years? I've heard it all. Don't let all of those things get to you, man. I mean, it's just... It's just, you know, just somebody typing. It's not a big deal, you know? They'll never say it to you in reality, and that's the difference. But the thing is, don't lose your enthusiasm. If you really have a voice and have something to say, do it. Don't let it take you, don't let it take your passion away. Don't give up, don't give up. Keep at it. You know, how, you know for me, I don't have one of the biggest channels. I, in the grand spectrum of things I do, yes. But I, I don't have a million subscribers, you know? like. I am still a smaller channel in the grand spectrum of things for doing this for 10 years, right? But, you know, you just got to keep at it. You know, build it and they will come. I, that's a stupid saying, but it is true. Um, Pokemon Master BJ. I'm sorry, I just had to do a nice pause. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Master BJ, $10 tip, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your love of games. When I was a kid and I had just started getting into games, I didn't know anyone else who was into games like I was. Then I started watching your show. Because of you, I don't feel embarrassed to be a gamer. Yeah, wow, eh? And, and, and you bring up a good point. When Rob, Andrew, and myself were younger, 
it was not cool to be liking video games. It was not a cool thing. You'd be made fun of. Like even in high school, people talk very quietly in their little circles who play video games. Now it's cool to like video games. But back in the 80s, it wasn't. And into the 90s, early 90s, it wasn't. Uh, you, you were like condemned. You, as I, say, I said earlier, my everybody, I loved Power Glove. everybody that I grew up with so got out of video games and all that. I didn't. I had a real passion for it though. A real, I loved it. I mean, I didn't just like video games. It wasn't just like, oh, I kind of like playing a video game. It was like my passion, you know, type of thing. So don't let anybody deter you from anything you like, you know? And it's nothing to do with video games. It's to do with anything. You know, you'll always have naysayers of saying, oh, you should stop doing that now. Or maybe you should do this with your life. Maybe you should do, you'll get that your whole life. You need to do what is best for you. Even if you work a job for a little bit less money, if you're happier, things like that. Do a lifestyle that is, you know, good for you type of thing. So, all right. These are the last codes going out. Okay. This is for, this, this is going on Twitter. Uh, this is for Xbox One. And there's only one of these codes, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's for Power Rangers Mega Battle. Yeah. <laughs> I want those. <laughs> Look out, Baruti's entering into his own Xbox. No, I'm, just, I'm just joking there. Uh, so that's going to go up onto Twitter for anybody who's interested in Power Rangers Mega Battle. That's just superly amazing. And just, I can't believe every time I refresh this, I think I'm getting caught up. And uh, Realistic Fishing says, uh, Relics System Forever. Somebody who watched the movie, somebody who appreciated the relic system, and uh, a big shout out to DJ who made that machine. He did an incredible job. A little light in it and everything. Really stupendous. Thank you for uh, representing the relic system. Uh, soup three, uh, five soup E three view uh, uh, six ninety seven dollar tip. Congratulations! I discovered Happy Console Gamer back in two thousand and ten, uh, and it was uh, and it was relevant. Such a uh, a positive and friendly community and so many great videos plus inspired me to finally uh, d delve into D&D &D. oh that's awesome uh, could you could, uh, could 80s 90s John have imagined all this that's a, that's a great question 80s and 90s John couldn't have imagined that I'd be sitting in a chat with thousands of people uh, of a show that I've done for 10 years it's uh it's remarkable and uh I actually, this is a weird thing is, is I'm not, I'm not somebody who tries to get emotional on camera. In fact, I make sure I don't get emotional in front of the camera. But that just kind of hit me. It's this, it's been a heck of a road. It's been a long journey from the past to now. All of the videos, all of the ups and downs. And, you know, it hasn't been smooth sailing, man. It hasn't always been smooth sailing, but it's been, it's always been about fun and passion and the video games that we all love. And there's a, such a cynical attitude. I noticed when I, when I was coming onto YouTube, I thought there was such a cynical attitude. And I was like, you know, I want to bring some positivity. I want to talk about Earthbound and, you know, my PS1 RPGs and all things I liked, man. I, I could spend hours talking about all the things I didn't like, but I was like, well, that's a bit of a waste of time. And uh, it's been a really positive experience for sure. So, no, he wouldn't, like me back in the day, couldn't have even comprehended that for sure. So, anyways, guys, all of the codes are up. They're done. Broody, thank you for putting those all up. Uh, we got through, we handed out nearly 21 codes today. Amazing. I'm just so, I hope any of you who got them are enjoying them. And for anybody who went to get the code, you didn't, I apologize. I wish there was another way to do this, but this is this is a pretty good system, I thought, to set it all up. At least no, no bots got them. And that is the main thing for sure. So I think we'll probably start winding this down I've been going for two and a half hours here, and it's 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 been exhausting for sure. I think I'm mm, gonna go have an an alcoholic drink in the other room. That would be really good. I think I'll have a I think I'll have a whiskey. Kim loves whiskey, and uh, she made me one yesterday for St. Patrick's Day, and I and I had it, and I was like. I, I know why you drink this. This is pretty good. I only have like one or two. That's it for me. But uh, for sure, I I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody for coming out today and coming to this stream. And I'm so happy that it, it went flawlessly. I've been so hepped up for the last two days worrying about everything that could go wrong with this stream. There's so many things that could go wrong, right? Like maybe the camera didn't work or the computer 
crashed or the internet kicked out. And I, I hate to advertise something and all of a sudden it doesn't happen. I hate that. When I say I'm going to do something, I always do it. And uh, that's, a, that's a really big thing. And I'll just try to get past a few last questions here for sure. Wow. Uh, Tale Forever, uh, 697. Have you ever watched Slope's Game Room or Kim's Justice? Great UK YouTubers. Any top picks from their, their channels if you have? I'm sorry. I don't even know who they are. Kim Justice? No. Uh, Slope's Game Room. I don't know them. I'll, I'll try to check them out later on for sure. So thank you for the tip, but I've not seen them. Uh, Dream Girl Records. Five dollar tip, thank you. Congrats, John. Being a fan since 2010, you're my favorite channel. Would you ever do a Panzer Dragoon Sega Rocks video? That would be amazing. Also, I would love to send you some vinyl records uh, from my record label. Wow, much love, Alex. Well, my God, first of all, thank you. That's really cool you have a vinyl uh, record label. That's, that's awesome. It's so cool how there's been such a, a resurgence of vinyl. In the world, I, I never thought I'd get back into it, and I fucking love it. I really, really like it. But um, yeah, any record would be a good record. I'll say that. Th that's really nice of you to offer. Thank you. A Panzer Dragoon Saga rocks video. You know, I think one of the reasons why I want to be to capture the footage in a really good way, and I'd really like to play through the game again. You know, I'd really like to get all the way through it and to really give some good impressions of it. I, my thoughts on the game are from a long time ago. You know, in a galaxy far, far away, it's called my youth. Uh, that's the last time I played it. I, it's, it's a long time ago. I first saw it at Rob's place. His dad bought it. His dad owned it. And his dad said something very, very amazing at the time. It's been a catchphrase of me and Rob's for years. He's like, I remember he came over to us and his, his dad wasn't a real big video gamer. And his dad said to me, he goes, he goes, he goes, it's like living in an anime. And I was just like, and I, me and Rob were joking, and later on I'm like, what does he know about anime? <laughs> <laughs> it was just really kind of funny. Huh? We are like, I, I just thought it was so, so surreal for his dad to say that. We're talking back in the 90s when, you know, anime isn't what it is now. Like, you can go to chapters and buy manga and stuff. It wasn't like that then. So for his dad to say that was the biggest humor. It was a meme. <laughs> it was a meme before there were memes. It was like, it's like living in an anime. It was, it was, it was so really awesome. So uh, thank you, Dream Girl Records, for sure. And um, I hate to leave the stream. I hate to leave the stream. When people say, oh, there's one more. Nostalgic Gamer, $3.00. Uh, congrats on 10 years, Johnny. Love the show. If you could only pick one, Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy. The turmoil. The, the scales of justice. <sighs> oh, <you can. sighs> That's just hard. Because Dragon Quest is, is, is a comfort zone. It's like a really amazing soup you have on a cold Sunday. You know, when you have a cold. It's just it's that kind of thing. But Final Fantasy has done so many unique things over the years as well. I, I can't pick one. I can't. I'm not gonna... I'll say that they both do some interesting... I'll say Final Fantasy, that it's kind of... It's ventured off into some different directions, where Dragon Quest is always its core foundation, which is a very positive thing. But Final Fantasy... We've explored many different kinds of worlds with many different characters in many different settings in many different time periods where Dragon Quest is really always kind of the medieval style thing. So I'll give it to Final Fantasy for taking us in some different directions, but my heart's with, you know, you know obviously uh, Dragon Quest for sure. So any last minute things, Bear? No, that's about it. I mean, the stream chat was awesome. They were showing you nothing but love. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't even read the stream chat on here. It's just too much. Yeah. Too like it's it's just too much. It's been look at this two and a half hours. I could only answer all the donation things that were given. It's like it'd be like it's just going right. It's going yeah, so and fast. Shout out to our moderators too. Oh it's yes, so good. All the moderators out there yeah. for sure. You know, I did. I think I did all that a, a, a week or so ago. And uh, well, I can't believe it. We're coming to the end of the ten year anniversary stream. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out today to spend a little bit of time with me reminiscing about the past. And I want to say in the next bunch of weeks, in the next year, 
Lots of great stuff coming out. I got things planned for the entire year. Some things that have never even been put onto YouTube uh, for series reviews and things I'm working on behind the scenes. And I'm really excited about every single one of those things. And I got great episodes coming up for next week. I, I, I you know, and, hey, this week I got to see Isle of Dogs. I got to see Ready Player One. I ain't complaining. It's, it's a busy week. We got Nino Kun Ni. Nee. Two coming out. Uh, that first thoughts, and that's coming out tomorrow morning. I need to edit that later tonight. And I just want to say thank you for taking the time, whatever time it is for you. Some people it's midnight. Some people it's our time. Some people it's three, four hours ahead. Thank you for taking the time to come into the stream, to interact with me and everybody else on this amazing day, looking back on 10 years of the show. And let me just say to all of you, I'm going to keep it positive, I'm going to keep it going, and I'm going to keep it going straight into the next year and beyond. And uh, we're going to have everybody back on. It's going to be a wonderful thing. You know, I always miss Rob. I always miss Vic. I always miss Andrew. I want to see Andrew again, too. In the future, I want all these people on as soon as possible. So, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for coming out. It really hits me right here. Anyways, guys, till next stream.